he- hello, welcome to the Procrastinators Podcast. It is uh, January 24th, 2021, uh, and it's the new episode. Uh, I'm Ben Saint, and also there's Give and Take. It's been one week since the That's last been. PCP. Just, you got to see PCP. Let's do the PCP. Uh, we got Gamer <laughs> Tavern. Uh, I lost my watch at a party once. An hour later, I saw some guy stepping on it while he was sexually harassing a woman. Infuriated, I went up to him, punched him, and broke his nose. Nobody does that to a woman, not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah, 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 okay, all right, all right, right. YouTube.com uh, slash Gamers Tavern Show. <laughs> tell your friends. Yeah, for more of those. Tell, tell your friends, yeah. even if they're imaginary. I didn't see, I didn't see that punchline coming, so I'll give you that one. I think, you got me. I think, I, I think I heard that one before. I don't know where. I never heard that one. Uh, it's a good probably one. one of my videos. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you reuse material. Uh, I would never do that. That the greatest comedians tell a joke one time ever and then throw it out and never repeat it under any circumstances. Yeah, that's yeah. what the professionals do. Exactly. Yeah, I've been I've been watching mm. these uh, videos of Stuart Lee, this comedian. He's like a, he's a British comedian, and he's like, I'd never heard of him before because he hates the whole like TV gays, the oh, TV okay. uh, like scene. He d- he just likes doing yeah. shows. Which means he's like uh, better because he's not stupid and lame and on TV and all that shit. But so, what does he do if he doesn't um, do TV? Well, he just does shows and like you, he sells DVDs of his oh, like, like clubs, oh, club clubs okay. and stadiums and stuff. He's he's quite popular, but like DVDs he doesn't do okay. the, 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 the the TV circuit of like being on panel shows and whatever. DVDs but he's very are very good. old school mm-hmm. now. But I, but I see sometimes, I see a bit of his, where it's like, oh, I've, I know this bit. I've watched this bit in a different video, in a different DVD special. I, I've seen this bit before. I, I think he sucks now. I don't like him. And in fact, I'm going to unsubscribe to this random YouTuber who isn't him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So he reuses uh, material too. Yeah. When I hear a band play a song a, a second time, I'm like, that's it. You guys are hacks. You guys are over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. how can you reuse material like this is blatant you're literally plagiarizing yourself yeah so like when I listen to an album I'm like ah oh, I've listened to this part before it's it's like it's yeah. like it skips skips to the new part skip to the new part it's like each song is like a like a like a piece of thin ice over a, over a lake and you can skate on it like only so many times before it cracks and it's no longer usable you have to skate on other songs yeah, I need to get some new Absolutely. material because I, many uh, people are saying this. Uh, I need to get new material because this cotton shirt just isn't working out for me. Haha. <laughs> uh, uh, I suggest Rayon. Big, big Rayon fan. Underrated. Underrated uh, textile there. <laughs> somebody, somebody messaged me after last week's episode to ask me like. Hey, I loved your font recommendations. Do you have any more fonts you recommend? And I was like, no. <laughs> I named all the good ones. You mean you were still doing <laughs> there that? There are no more. Because uh, I think you what? were recommending fonts on one of the last episodes I was on. I think we got a voicemail where someone was like very pointedly asking about like, what are you guys' favorite fonts? So is this um, going to be like uh, so, you know. the circumcision thing? No. Font font corner. I don't. It, it's. I don't know. I don't think font choice. I don't think. I don't think things like kerning are like as emotionally charged <laughs> as the <laughs> circumcision debate. Well, I don't know. Some uh, people get pretty serious about fonts. What are, what yeah. are the like, different types of like? There's like um, the ones where the Times New Roman, where the the like a T has little bits on the end of it. And then there's ones serif, 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 and and then non serif, sans serif, sans serif, and sans serif, where yeah. Comic Sans gets its name. Yeah. Uh, and, like like uh, where'd you fall on the serif that? sans serif debate? Oh, I'm a big serif guy. Big big serif energy over here. I always yeah. like that as well. If, when it, when it, when it came to like drawing, 
Like if there was like a drawing I was doing and it involved letters, I would always do them the fanciest possible because then it would be like fancier. I mean, if you're as many hand bells writing and whistles and you, as possible. If, you, if you're handwriting and you add serifs, like that means you that means you really gave a shit. Like you were like, how you how can I up the presentation? Speaking of, oh my god, you know what would be re- okay? I actually received a handwritten letter from Christine Weston Chandler. What? Whoa, that's a big okay. deal. This is okay. This is funny. Uh, I okay. Did, did, I I mentioned in the PCP chat, Gabe. I think you saw that. Like, okay, on on Twitter in Twitter DMs, Chris messaged me to say like, "Hey, I bought this crystal. Uh, it's a piece of blue hemimorphite from Arizona." Basically, because, like, oh, it's just, like, slime podrons from the Endless War, right? In, <laughs> yeah. In Laka I remember yeah. that. And she, and she literally fucking sent me the podron. She sent me the piece of hemimorphite. It's sitting on my... I guess I, guess I should probably post a picture of it. Uh, uh, Dude, you're like, literally yeah. pen pals. <laughs> I guess so. I thought... So uh... I, told, I told Chris, like, who... Cool. If you send me that, I'll, I'll send you like some pins and a slime coin. So I gotta get that in the mail to her. But she, but she wrote me a letter, and I actually haven't read the letter yet. Um. So I, I guess I should. I think I'll just read it now. <clears throat> yeah. Why not? Here it is. To Ben Saint, feel free to read on your next live stream or whatever. <laughs> cool. So I guess that's this. Um. Dear Ben, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm mixed up because Christine is not Christine. Christine is actually Sonichi right now. Sonichi was actually inhabiting the body of Christine while I suppose Christine is in C197. But you got to get all the lore. Under. So correct. this is actually a letter This is actually a letter from Sonichi. So this so is Sonichi's actual see. handwriting you have. Like This is like literally Yes, I I literally <laughs> I literally holding in my hand a letter from Sonichi. <laughs> of of the Sonichu comic book fame, I, incredible! What a, what a world, am I right? That's quite an okay, artifact. Okay, so here it is. Got there. <laughs> it is, dear Ben. Here is a lovely chunk of hemimorphite, aka a podrin of slime, obviously genuine, purchased from the Minerals and Mystics, formerly Crystal Connection, of Charlottesville, Virginia, mined from Arizona, in the vicinity of Nlakakam. And Christine has personally verified it as 1218's counterpart of a podron of slime. This podron has been near this body for a few days, so it is energized and blessed. Oh, it's been energized by Christine's body. <laughs> Eminem, Eminem also gave me a bit of a bit of stickum and a pedestal. Oh, OK. It's the thing that it's like sitting on. Eminem also gave me a bit of stickum and a pedestal, which I felt would be better off for and with you. You may even put your name on it, Ben, quote, Ben Saints Podrin, end quote, or what you like. Enjoy it and stay safe and well. Sonichu, January 18th, 2021. And Sonichu is written in a scribbly sort of lightning bolt kind of a script there. So <laughs> there it is. Well, well, now Base. you're... Uh... Now you're protected so from uh, ba- you're protected from COVID now. <laughs> well, in well, in slime and punishment, in Christine's uh, uh, side pages, images of it, uh, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Chris Chan Sonichu takes the slime podron and um, I guess energizes it and gives it back to Phantom Horn. And this is in the beta timeline. And in the beta timeline, Phantom Horn is given this energized podron and it causes him to grow a, a sort of ethereal quote unquote phantom unicorn horn that he can use like some approximation of real unicorn magic through. And in, and in the image, when Chris, when Christian is giving the podron back to Phantom Horn, the podron is blue. Like, it's very clearly blue. So I was like, okay, she charged it up with blue energy, right? Because recently she posted pictures of Sonichu and, and Chris Chan, but they since they've switched bodies, they have like an aura energy around them. So Chris Chan's body has this yellow energy aura because it's got Sonichu in it, and Sonichu's got this blue energy aura because it's got Christine in it. So it's like, okay, yeah, she put her fucking aura energy into the crystal so it's blue, of course. But then I, I reply to her like, oh, just like the the blue podrin and she's like um actually christine simply used the wrong marker to color it <laughs> make of that what you will and so i'm even, like oh even christine makes so mistakes. that was just a mistake 
So that's just a mistake, even though it just makes way more sense for the Poden to be blue. Okay, she she said, like, make of it what you will. So I'm just going to assume that, yes, yes, it did make the Poden blue. Oh, yeah. Because I literally had the, the pin manufacturers, like, manufacture a small quantity of, like, alternate color blue Podrons. So I'd just feel silly if, <laughs> if, that, if that were a waste of time. Mm. That's clever. So uh, I had, like, I had, like, I literally forgot that I got that until just now. Uh, but that's uh, pretty cool. So, you know, pr- pretty, pretty cool. I guess maybe I'll hang that up. Maybe I'll tuck that in behind the, um, you know, the, the page of uh, Liquid Sonichu being reborn, or Liquid Chris being reborn in the fucking hell womb or whatever, the one I have on my wall. So I guess uh, you two are uh, on good terms again, because I remember a while back there was like a, a bit of an issue or something she was she, yeah she she was she was mad at me merely for reporting the facts which is that Nlakakam did in fact go to war with Quickville yeah um, i remember that and that the casualty the casualties were immense but Christine r- refused to acknowledge it um and i and i guess that's just the Quickville party line is to just not not admit that any of that happened but it did you know i was there i i posted pictures there was video evidence um, there was a whole, there was a whole body of work done about it in the, in the RFCK server for the contest, the quick, the war on Quickville contest. So like it's, it's, it's canon. I mean, it's just, it's indisputable. A whole canon. body no of work of that. all the dead bodies, right? Yes, that's right. There are, there are stats too. There are, there are body counts. Astronomically high ones, of course. Uh, well, that's. You should. That's you fine. should. You if, know what? If you're was, sending yeah. the uh, the coin and stuff, you should do a handwritten letter back, and actually like get a rapport going with Sonichu. Um. You know, I I had arranged like a sheet, like a little piece, like a, an image that would explain like what each of the pins mean, like what what they are images of, uh, and then my fucking printer broke, so like I couldn't print it. So I might just like send her that image when she gets it so she can see it or whatever. Cause like she's not gonna know what like Goo Girls Limited is. <laughs> well, you never uh, know. For instance. She might be a bigger fan than you think. I don't You know what? Maybe you're right. I choose to believe that you're right. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I was in kind of a shitty mood, but uh, that that really that really perked me up. <laughs> I'm feeling chipper now. You're feeling chipper, and you're not even chip from shipping downs. <laughs> die, die, gamers tavern, die. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I um, want to mention something on here. Uh, you can uh, you you can both call me a uh, Chrono with a K instead of gamers tavern. Unless you want to continue calling okay. the gamers tavern, it's up to you. Chrono? Sure, yeah. A, Chrono is a real name, I guess. Yeah, you've mentioned that before. I just was in the habit. I was just in the habit of calling you gamers tavern, like I was in the habit of calling Gib Hippo. Right. Um, yeah, that's a okay. Chrono, it, Chrono, it is. I, I mentioned that off the air, I think one time, but I want to take the opportunity to you mention it on the air, so uh, <laughs> er- everybody knows. I guess a couple of thousand people <clears throat> might listen to this. Uh, that's a, a, an old username I used to use back in, I think I first used it in 2001. So I haven't, haven't used it much lately, but I'm thinking of bringing it back, you know, because, uh, embrace tradition and reject modernity. <laughs> that's right. The, the, the extremely modern gamers tavern brand. It, it's not old, 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 good, new, bad. It is. Old, it good, is new, true. Bad. So you just keep. As far back as you possibly can. But that's been my my philosophy for pretty much my entire life. Um, mm, uh, man, I've been um. Okay, let me tell. I've been I've been really struggling with Noita. Noita is so fucking hard. And then, I. I guess Vosh just beat it. Like I haven't, I had haven't watched Vosh in a while. I didn't know that he or anyone was playing Noida, but I just see a, I see a, he, I just happened to see a tweet from him that's like, I'm really proud of my first Noida win, 
And it made me really mad. <laughs> it made me really mad that Vosh beat Noida before uh, I did. Do you, do you uh, care to elaborate guy. on what this is for anyone who doesn't know? No. 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 Never. It's, no. A, it's a roguelite. I, or roguelike. I don't know. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. You jump into a game. Uh, I had a really good... I, Craig, fuck, Craig fucking die, Craig, you piece of shit. Um, I had a really good game, like, earlier today, where I had, like, a pretty good synergy going, where I had, um, I managed to get a buff that would, like, turn a project, when you shot a projectile, it would make the projectile shoot fireballs out to the left and right, and I put that on a wand that would shoot a, like, bouncy projectile, so the projectile would go out and it would bounce, and so it would, like, persist for a while, bouncing around, and even after it was bouncing, it would still just keep shooting fireballs out, like, um... I mean, it was pretty fucking. It was. It was. That was pretty fucking good. It didn't actually do that much damage, but it was like a lot of bang for your buck. Um, but the important the thing most, is that it, the, it looked cool, right? Uh, the I mean, the cool looking ones just literally just kill you when you use them. They just like fucking explode and you die. I had I found one wand that had a spell on it that I'd never seen before, and the spell was like turns everything around you into blood, and I used it. And it literally just turned my body into blood, and I died. My whole body was just became blood. Oh, so it's like you don't know exactly what these things are going to do. No, you don't really know what the spells do until you use them. Are they like randomly generated effects? Like they can stack and and mix in interesting ways? The the spells are... There's a pre... There's a, a particular list of spells... Um, but you will, f- you find wands that have slots and the slots will have like semi random spells in the slots and the slots, some, some wands are like randomized, like you'll, you'll shoot them and it will like pick a random slot to fire a spell from, but some, some wands are non shuffle, which means that the spells progress in a linear fashion. They go slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. And so you can build things. So like you could maybe put a like modifier in the first slot that's like okay cast the next two spells but then it, you know and then maybe you put a spell but then in the second spell that that double slot cast is going to cast you put like another modifier that's like okay that one make it like a double branch spell and then so that in that second pathway actually branches out into two more spells so you can build these like these like logic machines that like do like a chain of spells that all modify each other so um, spell slots is like, like a materia, right? Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, more or less. But like the spells are on the wands. So like you're not you you don't have mana that you cast spells with. Like the individual wands have like a mana pool and like a mana regeneration rate. And like that affects like like you might have a wand that has like a really good fire rate and like and stuff and you put like a, a spell on it and you're like <laughs> machine gun but if it's got like low mana or low regeneration rate you'll you like you'll run out and you won't actually be that useful you know um mm-hmm. so you kind of have to Sounds find pretty interesting work well it's super fucking interesting and it's so hard um i think i made it i think last night i had like one of my best runs uh yet i made it to you start in the mines and then you go no no you start in like the the cat the mines and then you go to like the deeper mines and then you go to like this ice layer and then there's a jungle layer no no and then there's like a vault and then there's a jungle layer and then there's like a second vault and i made it to that like the like second vault with all this high tech shit in it and i was like this is only like the second time ever i've made it there uh, it was it was my best run ever uh it was pretty good um Duh, but I don't think I was even anywhere close to the end. Uh, ooh, ah, it's very, very challenging. It's a very challenging mm-hmm. video game. Video game. Mm-hmm. Yes. The, the most, the most fun thing in Noida, in my opinion, is in the second level. The like the deeper mines is if you get a spell that has the ability to like clear dirt or clear, um, yeah, like clear materials out. And you just go around there and you look for, like, pockets of gold that are buried in, like, the stone in the mines. And you can just, like, dig to them and just, like, pick up the gold. And you just, like, go around and, like, collect as much gold as you can so you have a lot of money. 
so that you can like buy better spells in like the in between mm, zone, like a uh, Minecraft, right? Almost you, you as if you uh, some kind of the Minecraft. Yeah, yes. Dude, I've been playing Minecraft, and I've been playing Minecraft as well as Minecraft. Do you have you ever heard of um, <laughs> you ever heard of X's Adventures in Minecraft? He was a mm, he was a let's no. player. Is, is called... it is X a person? X was his name. I don't think his channel okay, his channel wasn't no. called that, but he is. He, I've he I've heard X. of X's Adventures of whatever. I've heard of Pooh's Adventures of. Yes, he's not Winnie the Pooh, unfortunately. Um, That's but bad. he he did he was like one of the first Minecraft Let's Players that didn't take off in like a gigantic <laughs> way, but he's like beloved because it's like kind of the best when it when it was new. You know, he was discovering the game and he was like learning, and everyone else was like mm. learning with him, and so it was like a magical Let's Play, and it was really well produced. He was a very he's a very thoughtful gamer. Um, rather than just screaming and, and jumping at stuff, he like he he crafts his let's play like it's a a show that he that it's um it's got narrative stakes. Even though he is just recording himself playing a game, and he cuts it off at specific. It's it's just very well nicely made. And he's mm, been gone for familiar. ten years. He is he has stopped really? doing Minecraft ten years ago, and people have always wanted you know him to come back. Um, because I think the the first playthrough. It got quite far, but then he just sort of got bored because he died, and it was far away, and he lost a lot of stuff. Um, and he tried to look for <laughs> and it. And that was just it? Um, yeah, I think it was before beds. I think it was before you could set your spawn mm. point. So he he was on a very, very long, far away adventure, and he died, and he lost everything. So it was like, uh, uh, Just well, like real life. Yes, except he didn't, <laughs> in real life, you don't come back. Um, mm. Yeah, he's so been gone for so, 10 so years. So real life is better. Uh, uh, yeah. I suppose. Like, if you die and lose all your stuff in real life, and you come back yeah, and you're like, that's, that's "Start fine. again, idiot!" You're like, "Oh, I don't want to even think about that." Oh so, uh, no! This guy crafts his let's plays like a like that Minecraft thing, right? Oh yeah, he cra you know a crafting like, table YouTube he, he video crafts pops it out. like a mine. He crafts it like a mine. Almost. Anyway, anyway. He is cool, and he's been gone for 10 years. He comes back very recently with Minecraft Let's Play Hardcore Mode, and he's doing it the same way as always. And he was never, like, a big speedrunner-type gamer. He's always been sort of slow and methodical and a little bit autistic in the way that he conducts his, like... Um, uh, I noticed watching him, he's like... He has to have his station, which always has, like... The furnace in a specific place compared to where the crafting table is and the chest and 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 mm -hmm. then he like digs in a specific like it's it's very i don't know soothing to watch and i've been getting back into him playing the game 10 years super nostalgia minecraft let's play it makes me want to play minecraft even though at the time i was in a minecraft binge i was talking about minecraft not so long ago doing a hardcore mode um, Minecraft's so fucking good. I can't even imagine people playing a, a different game. <laughs> it's so Noida good. Noida is just Minecraft. Noida is just Minecraft. Only instead of only each each individual pixel is its own block. So it's better because it's more granular. More Isn't blocks that, is more better. I guess that's that's more <clears throat> more blocks than Terraria then because Terraria is blocks still have Terraria has multiple pixels in them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Much better. It's much better than Terraria, and much better. Because, I mean, think about it, right? Uh, 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 Noida is only two-dimensional. So, you know, theoretically, the blocks, the small, the already smaller and more granular blocks are only two-dimensional. So, actually, in a, th in a hypothetical 3D space, you could fit infinite amounts of them, right? Because they're infinitesimally small slivers of a three-dimensional area. So there's actually like infinitely better video game. Oh uh, yeah, that sounds like pretty sound logic to me. <laughs> when they're not Minecraft, That's right. I don't know. I think I think most games suck oh, actually oh, okay. when it's they're it's not fine. Minecraft. No, it's fine. Some 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 people just like less blocks. Some people just like fewer blocks. Some people are stupid. Yeah, good point. And that's okay. That's okay. You know what? It's fine. Live and learn. Some some people live and learn. <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> oh, I see Craig finally made it. Fuck you, Craig. Yeah. Piece of shit. Well, um, um, I did uh, upload a new video recently. Uh, we mentioned that before. Dude, you crafted show. your own YouTube video. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Whoa. It all comes what back to it? Minecraft. What is it? Everything always comes back to Minecraft. <sighs> sure does. Uh, so, so what's the video? Your video was um, Mega Man Zero Four ending. Your like it was a it was a speak video. It wasn't a let's play. Yeah, it's something uh, new that I've never done before. Uh, I'm not sure if it counts as an analysis video or not. I think it sort of does. It's like a a mini video essay sort of thing. Here is why I like this thing. Yeah, I uh, I wrote a script for it and I recorded it and um it was pretty easy to make because uh, I didn't have to tell any jokes. That's the easiest. That's the easiest. It's easy not to I've have to tell jokes, you know. It's um uh, mm. a weight off my shoulders, but uh I guess it's maybe good or maybe not. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to promote it because I don't know if it's good. Oh, I watched it. I I kind of liked it. I <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd, I'd never heard of of Mega Man Zero. Um what? But I've heard of, I've heard of Mega Man Zero. I've never played, I mean, never played any of them. I mean, I've, I feel, I've okay, barely even I, played Mega Man 1. Am I crazy, or did, didn't you talk about this video, like, last time you were on? I don't uh, think so. It no, because uh, the last time I was on, uh, the video didn't exist. Or did you just talk about the ending to Mega Man X4? But not this video. About uh, it. Yeah, maybe I talked about the ending. Uh, the last time I think we were in a stream that wasn't on uh, the PCP. Oh, that might have been it. Yeah, that might have been it. Um, um, I, I really liked the ending to um, Mega Man Zero Four, so I, I I got the idea of making a video explaining why I like it. And uh, I mm -hmm. uploaded two videos: one of just the ending by itself, and the other one of me uh, talking about the ending. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh, Mega Man Zero is a fucking cool. I don't know. It's like Mega Man. Okay, Mega Man X is more of like a spiritual sequel to Mega Man. It has like some lore connections, but it's like not explicit, and it's sort of like up to you to decide what the relationship is there. Mega Man Zero is like a. It it's like a direct sequel to Mega Man X. It's almost just like a. I guess it's not just a, like a straight continuation because Mega Man X did continue. Mega Man Zero it like is canonically just like the future of Mega Man X, like super um, future, right? Like like every like humanity future. is not even slightly the same as it was in Mega Man One. I don't think there are any humans left in Mega Man. No, there are uh, cyborgs. Or something, there right? are humans in. Um, are they? Are there? There, there are humans in Mega okay, Man Zero. Uh, the plot of Mega Man Zero is that. Um, the the humans hated the, the reploids and they wanted to get rid of all of them so they found a society called neo arcadia and they're hunting down reploids oh, what a cool fucking name god the aesthetics of mega man zero are so fucking yeah cool. it is pretty cool so in, in the beginning uh, uh, you you joined the resistance group yeah and uh in the resistance group you're actually fighting against the humans to def defend the the reploids or the robots right so right, because uh, the humans are actually the bad the guys. Because the reploids are basically just people. They're the reploids are just like most people in this world. Right? Uh, the reploids are just robotic versions of humans, I guess, or rather, they're robots that yeah. have uh, they keep uh, they have free will. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but there was a okay me and me and Munchie and Kazzy one time went to. Because their school had a, like, comic book creators club. And Munchie told me, like, this is bad. He was like, I went to this club and it sucked. And I was like, that's funny. Let's go. <laughs> so okay. we went to a meeting. We went to a meeting of this, this like, these college kids who were all, like, talking about their comic ideas. And it was very much, like, it, it was it was a lot of... Most of the meeting was like basically uh, uh, people describing their like going around the table, like describing their OCs and all these cool ideas they have for their comic that they haven't started making yet. 
Um, but they will. Well, I guess he's right. That does sound pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, well, the funniest part, and this was, uh, this was not the worst part, but it was probably the funniest. There was one guy who is describing, like, the plot of, like, the comic series that he wants to make. And he is like, okay, so it's set in the future. And, you know, this technology is developed to create this race of robots that have free will. And, you know, there's tension between you know, the, the sentient robots and the humans. And some of those sentient robots decide that they're like robot supremacists and they break off and they form like sort of a sort of a team of like renegades, you might call them. You know, there's like a group that is like anti-human. And then there's like and then like the protagonist is like, you know, a pro, he's like a pro-human, like he fights on behalf of the humans to defend against these evil robots. And he's literally just describing the plot of Mega Man X. And and he's sitting there describing this. He's wearing a Mega Man X shirt, <laughs> like it's on his shirt as he's describing it. And like just I'm just nobody nodding, will like, get, uh, we'll figure it out. Well, well, no. I he redeemed himself a little bit because at the end he he, he like he goes he talks about all this stuff, and then he's like, so you know. It's a lot like Mega Man X. Like it's heavily inspired by Mega Man X. Like it's very similar <laughs> well, that's to Mega Man obvious. X. <laughs> so he like he completely owned it, which I respect. <laughs> ah. It's basically the same exact thing, except for one tiny detail that's different. God, yeah, yeah, basically, it had I, like a. I know the feeling yeah. of like, like I, yeah. I think sometimes like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna make this, this thing, and it's it's basically like, exactly like Homestuck. Except I wrote it. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's basically just, it's, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything like it would have in it. I just want to invent Riska myself. <laughs> well, that's a uh, noble endeavor. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other funny shit that happened. Um, no, that was the funniest part. It was, I don't know. It was a bunch of crap. But uh, yeah, uh, the Mega Man Zero series and X series are pretty cool. The the stories of them are pretty cool. But uh, Mega Man Zero's story, I think, is probably better and more fleshed out than the X series. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Zero has Zero is a little bit more plot centric. I think. Yeah, the, the X series. Like you, can, you can play through Mega Man X and like almost not even notice that a plot is happening. Yeah, uh, the X series has pretty good lore, but there's not much plot to it. Um, yeah. But the Mega Man Zero series has lore and plot. Um, it's very much like. Okay, like I, I'm, the the fact that like um like the fact that it's called like Neo Arcadia and like I don't know they talk about like this like. The place where like the humans like are like ruling from it has this sort of like weird like religious aesthetic to it like it's like some kind of holy land or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Um, and like, if you get an, an S yeah. rank in Mega Man Zero, they call you the Redeemer. So fucking cool! I am such a sucker for that shit. Um, the final when spoiler big spoilers, but when you like um, okay, so like. X is the leader of these evil humans well, uh, who are like X. anti-reploids. Yeah, but it's not actually X. It's it's X's body, but the like X's actual mind now exists in the form of like a cyber elf, which is a sort of like disembodied like program that is sort of like a spirit or whatever. And you can use cyber elves to like enhance your abilities and stuff in the game. But like the real X is a cyber elf, but his, but X's body is controlled by some new AI who thinks he's the real X, but he's this fucking like, a uh, 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 like reploid genocide fucking monster and when you fight him at the end of the first uh, Mega Man Zero he turns into this giant fucking like robot like angel wing creature and just is like fucking blah yeah it's pretty so cool great. <laughs> it's so good and, um, ah! no, I really, the, the I really whole like X series is, is constantly foreshadowing the big battle between X and Zero which happens a couple of times mm-hmm. in the X series, but uh, you can say the climax is in the Mega Man Zero series, uh, when Zero kills uh, Copy X. Oh, and it's got it's got this whole thing where like these four the four like guardians. What is it, like Harpuya, the the wind guy, Leviathan, the water girl, Shadow, the ninja thing. 
And I think, I the, think there's the fire a fourth guy one. Oh, is Fenrir, right? The fire guy. Fenrir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like these they're these like heroes of justice that like defend they like they think they're the good guys and then like over I think it's over the course of the first game they learn that like no, X is the leader of like this evil fucking empire or whatever. We're the bad guys and they all, you know, become redeemed. Well, oh, it's man. interesting because um what a fucking game. The uh, Neo Arcadia is seen as like the utopian city for humans. Uh but they mm-hmm. uh their uh X is killing off all the reploids and you're defending them and fighting yeah. against that. But it's just kind of weird because yeah. in the X series you're defending the humans against the reploids, but in the Zero series it's reversed. Yeah, cuz it's like um yeah, because, like, if you imagine, like, the historical timeline, like, X was known, like, in the X games, he fights against the evil Reploids because these maverick Reploids are more powerful than humans, and they're, they're like, it's like, um, it's like Magneto in the X-Men. They're like, well, you know, fuck the humans, right? Like, we're better than them. Uh, uh, but then, like, by the time, I guess Reploid technology was so successful that by the time Mega Man Zero happens, like, Reploids are, they, they're, they're, like, indistinguishable from people. But so, I, I guess, like, because, you know, because this new X that thinks he's the old X is like, yeah, I fight the Reploids. Reploids bad. So, you know, persecute them, even though, like, now the tables have turned and, like, now the Reploids are the underdog. Sort of. Sort of. You know, except for the good reploids that like work for me, my fucking four like elemental champions or whatever, and also me because I'm special because I'm because I'm the hero. Was he call himself? He calls himself like the fucking hero of legend. He has some like I'm I'm like the cho- I think he calls himself like the chosen one or something because he thinks like yeah X is this hero from history. Like he's the I'm, I'm the greatest fucking reploid that ever lived. Like I save the human race. I can do no wrong. Yeah, it's something like that. It's uh, a, it's pretty freaking cool when you think about it. Um, there's a lot of, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting fucking hype. I'm getting excited over here. <laughs> I've uh, remembering. I've never played really any Mega Man except what the first one that I bought on the Wii store. Um, and I've I've always been curious because I know there's loads of spin-off series, and I'm like looking at the timeline to see if like it's a jumbled mess like Zelda. But it seems to be just in order. Like Mega Man series is like twenty XX. Mega Man X is twenty one XX. So that's yeah, yeah. It's pretty Mega Man Zero. Yeah, centuries I mean, later. Like Mega the, the... Man ZX. Uh, century yeah. after the Zero series. Mega Man Legends. Several Z- thousand years later, just keeps going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mega Man Legends is after ZX. Yeah, apparently. But that's what the whoa, 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 that's what whoa, the fans whoa, whoa. What uh, the theorize. Fuck? But I'm not sure what if it's that's What the fuck is this? Uh, link, me, link let me, this. Let me scroll. Link, uh, yeah, link yeah. This. It's just, it's just the um. You see the. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it. But it's, it, it's, it makes <clears throat> this is unacceptable. Makes sense if you're a big Mega Man fan nerd like I am, but. Um, Basically, okay. Um, this is not this is not canon. Uh, yeah, it might not be canon. I'm not sure if if it is canon or not. But it's theorized by the fans that Mega Man Legends takes place after uh, ZX, because in ZX humans and Reploids start to become almost the same, and humans start incorporating like cybernetic uh, implants into themselves. And in Mega Man Legends, um, yeah, I think in Legends it's determined or confirmed that all the humans are. Uh, basically reploids by that point oh god okay but i thought that i thought that the mega man from mega man legends just is original mega man from the mega man games just like in 3d uh no he's a he's but a no? different character is that not... he's a I, I forget his i mean they're both called mega man whereas like mega man x is called x well the um so i just assumed yeah but the the one in legend is actually his name is volnut or something like that or his last name is volnut i think um my memory is where's all the like strategy like the small like um turn-based whatever games are they they you mean the rpgs uh the battle network series and oh star force battle network battle network's got to be somewhere else Battle Network's got to be its own. Yeah, that's a separate spot timeline. On the timeline, I don't know where. It n- 
Is it separate? I would I would hope that it f- figures well, somewhere was, on the timeline. I was really just looking at like the beginning, and then I was scrolling down to look at the specifics. But this is like how it's laid out at the top, and I'm like, oh, okay, so the series follow on like chronologically. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, but then the, there's no mention of the. Uh, I guess this is Mega Man timeline classic. Oh God! There's wait, I'm look- one. wait. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the zero timeline, which is like that, that, that's, that's the... just the image at the top. I didn't really look at that. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm not the whole the thing. That's just that's just between X and zero. Yeah, but uh, that, the like, Battle Network series takes line. place on its own timeline or universe. It's not related to uh, the main timeline. Wait, what? Wait, this is a comprehensive timeline for classic Mega Man, Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man. All of these series occur in a timeline that deviates from the timeline seen in the Mega Man. Battle Network and Mega Man Star Force series, which are canon to one another, but not the other series. Yeah, the, um, okay. Wait, what was that second one? Um, you oh, mean Star Force? I on something wrong. Uh, yeah, Mega Man Star Force series. Star Force is so a, those... the spiritual successor to Battle Network. It takes place, like, I think 100 or 200 years after Battle Network. So it, it's a timeline that deviates. So if... if hmm, now I've got to yeah, look the, into this. I love, um, I love like, timelines... I'm probably never going to play any of these games. So I like figuring out. Well, the idea is that um, the main Mega Man uh, timeline is when robotics became the big popular thing. But uh, the Battle Network timeline is if robotics didn't take off and instead, like, the internet became the big thing. Huh. So they, 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 <laughs> they go into the web and they do battle network. They do battles in online. Yeah, basically. They, 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 they pwn each other. Digitally, yeah, I'm not um I'm not too big of a fan of the Battle Network series, but uh, they're pretty okay if you like RPGs. Hmm. Series set in a parallel universe from the original Mega Man series, where the internet has become integrated with almost every piece of electronic equipment in existence, from TVs to ovens. <laughs> yeah. So the what the, the oven gets like infected. So it's just the real the, world. Yeah. The oven gets infected I, uh, well, with like a true. virus, and then it starts messing up your house and burning down your house and stuff. It's like I made a wooden television. I made a like a, to combat the internet. I made a wooden uh, something or other. It doesn't doesn't matter. It and still then gets um, sucked in. The main character, his name is Lan, as in local area network. Mm-hmm. And um. He jacks into a device with his little PDA thing. <laughs> he jacks into his little PP. Yeah, that's what they call it in the games. You you jack in and you jack out. <laughs> and uh oh, this anime and manga. Yeah, the Battle Network series was pretty popular, and it had its own anime, and I guess it had a manga. I didn't know that. The Mega okay. Man NT okay. Warrior what? manga, authored by Ryo Ryo Ryo, Ryo Takamasama Kunata. What really bugs me, what bugs me about this timeline is that I can't actually see any references in Mega Man Legends to like, to like Zero and ZX. Like, if there was any of that, I would believe it. Yeah, I'd be willing to give um, it. But like, it's just fan theory. I don't theories. actually see anything. It's. Uh, I don't think it's ever yeah, been confirmed cool. to be canon that uh, Legends is related to um, the timeline. I would. I would need to. I would need to be a list of like. Oh, you know, here in in this like room, you can see like an image that like refers to something that happened. Yeah, like, a... I mean, Legends never even acknowledges the existence of Zero. I don't know. This this just seems like some dumb. But there canon. there's a lot of uh, fan theories and fan canon stuff, and um, you know the the lore of Mega Man is pretty interesting. You could probably uh, do a lecture on it. It just it just that's true. That I'm sure is true. Act- like, actually, um, actually, one hundred percent true. I'm just saying. This just seems like a big, like, what if? Like, oh, what if Legends takes place in the future after ZX? It could. You can't prove it doesn't. And, like, yeah, you know, you're, you're right. Uh, you're <laughs> right. It hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. Um, it, there's, like, little implications or nudges, but it hasn't been actually confirmed to be canon. It's, um, I, don't, I, don't, I'm, I mean, I'm looking for well, implications, I'm, and I'm, I'm not really it. seeing much. I found a th- much. forum thread. Tell me if this makes sense. In the X series, a space station called Elysium is being built roughly in the year 50XX, and the master is at least 3,000 years old when he dies before the events of Mega Man Legends, meaning that 
80xx is the earliest the series could happen. Wait, so X, so in X, there's a space station called Elysium. Yeah, and I, th- I assume Elysium is like and Elysium is place, or like something like that. And Elysium is also in le- in uh, the Legends. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, it's hmm. um, if there's the oh, okay. there, there's little hints like that, but this still isn't a hard confirmation. See, that, that, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so I mean, yeah, okay. It's kind of like a, yeah. I mean, I, I think you if know, there's nothing on the, in on Legends the, itself, it would on be the other hand, only like little on hints the other hand from other games. I mean, if the if if Legends is like far future from the original Mega Man, then like they're not the same person, but they had just have the same name. Like it could just be a different thing that's also called Elysium, like how Mega Man is just also called Mega Man. True, but was uh, there Elysium? Was there an Elysium? In the original Mega Man, ever mentioned? Uh, no. Did the, did, was the, the space Mega, station that was the being original built? Original Mega Man, I don't think so. W- was the space station being uh, mentioned in Mega Man X, uh, being named after an already existing Elysium from Legends? Who knows? Who knows which way round it goes? Uh oh, yeah. I honestly, I think that probably is true because, like, Legends, because like Mega Man X kept going even as like l- the Legends series was starting so like i would believe that like people making like later x games might just name things after things in like the early legends game i think there's only like two or three legends games uh, there's only two yes. and they were both but on yeah. the ps1 yeah so yeah they that like the 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 inspiration could have gone either well the, the x series was originally mm-hmm. supposed to end at x5 and then uh, Capcom made uh, X6 without Inafune's uh, knowledge. And he was quite uh, upset about it when he found out that they made a Mega Man game behind his back. Hmm. Yeah, it would be too. This, this, is a, this, this could be an interesting video if, if someone knew all this stuff and they would, you know, would feel like, you know, like analyzing the I, truth I think coming down to the... For, I mean... Mega Man doesn't have like Kingdom Hearts level convoluted lore, but like there's so many games that like there is a lot of it. Yeah. Like a lot of stuff has happened. But a lot of the stuff in games uh, doesn't really matter. You know, like a lot of it is pretty self contained. Yeah. Mm, that's just what they want you to think. Yeah. But uh, sometimes yeah. the most interesting uh, stuff about the lore is the fan theories as opposed to what is canon. Like, um, yeah. There's a big sure. fan theory about. Dr. Wily's involvement in the X series and whether he was secretly uh, controlling Sigma or something. Yeah. And um Yeah, sure. I mean, this is a I've I think I've heard something about it, but it's it's not like I feel like there are some references to Wily in X. Oh yeah, there's but... there's definitely some um like in um yeah. In Mega Man X4, uh, spoilers, uh, the first cutscene when you play as Zero, uh, it clearly shows uh, that Dr. Wily uh, made Zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. And then when so, you, like, um, that's, like, fully canon. Like, yes, this is the future of the other yeah. game. And then when you get to yeah. Sigma as Zero, there's another anime cutscene where it shows that uh, Zero was the first Maverick, and he infected uh, Sigma. And that's how Sigma became the okay. Maverick. Okay, I thought was that not the story from the beginning? I kind of thought that that was just like est- established in Mega Man X. That like, yeah, Zero was the first Maverick, and he, but he like got unmaverick. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I, that I don't came later. Think and I just so got because in X Four they make it out to be like a huge revelation, like it's a big plot twist. Maybe maybe I just read that somewhere and then just like read that into the game when I was playing X because as a kid I only played the original X like I played X, X two and X three a little bit. Like However, um, this ball. is foreshadowed in X at the end of X two when you kill Sigma. His final words are something like um, Zero, you were one of Wily's last. No, he didn't. He doesn't say Wily. He says Zero, you were one of the Doctor's last creations. Why did you betray me or something like that? So he, yeah. he doesn't say who the doctor is. It kind of implies that Sigma is also made by him. Yeah, right? well, Sigma is not made by uh, by Wily. He's made by Dr. Kane. Oh. 
Right. Because right. this is kind of weird, but Dr. Kane is an archaeologist, and he discovered X's uh, body in a capsule, and then he copies X's design and makes yes. a bunch of reploids. So he made Sigma. I knew that. So what I don't get is how does an ar- archaeologist like learn how to build a robot? You know, that's... Well, he just copied the... I mean, he, he didn't do it himself. He just, like, he found Dr. Light's design. Yeah, but Dr. Light's design stole, was, he's like... plagiarized. It was the most sophisticated robot design at the time, and he just somehow copies it yeah. and, and modifies it. It's like, you have to know a thing or two about robotics well, to do that. Maybe he... I mean, maybe he... Well, you know, he's probably just, like, Elon Musk. He doesn't actually do anything. He just, like, hires a bunch of engineers to, like, do it but that's for possible. him. That's possible. I never, I never considered company, that so. possibility. Never thought about so it. So everyone, so everyone just assumes, oh yeah, Doctor Doctor Kane did it. You know, <laughs> it's his, it's his baby or whatever. Sigma, uh, more like Sigma balls. Lig, more like lig. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were you you were going there. You went there. Mm-hmm. I went there. Mm-hmm. I'm not afraid. Damn. Snap, snap, snap. Um. Base man, I fucking hate video games. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty so bad. Ah, oh, dude. Speaking of video games, I've been replaying uh, yeah. um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney: Trials and Tribulations, the third in the in the first three games. I played the first Ace Attorney game, and I thought it was dumb. I thought it was bad, mm, and I didn't well, finish it. And I didn't you're like it. dumb instead, because actually, uh, I, was real, I mean, I, I will was say, really I will say lame. that I think the second and. Th- third games are much better with the with the um when it comes to like things coming out of nowhere to save the protagonist that doesn't happen quite so often i remember I, um, like the, replaying the first a, yeah. game it's like oh no there's absolutely nothing i can do then suddenly out of nowhere like the, ha- the one piece of evidence you need like you had no hand in yeah. getting that evidence for the case, it just sort of appears, and then you can complete it. And it's like, okay, that's just manufactured, like manufactured. Uh, what's the word? Tension, tension. Because like, th- th- there's no, Money. there's no like ticking clock. You don't know that the 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 thing you need is on its way, but it might be late. You just think there's nothing that's gonna happen because there's nothing, and then it's there pulled were... out of its house. But the second and third games are so fucking good. Ah. I did. Um, you, you I need guess to play. Playing... You need to play the third game to see Godot. Godot is like the coolest guy in the world. I did beat. Uh, I think all the ones on the DS, except for I think the last one, which was kind of like a weird action adventure, uh, type of thing. There, there's weird. one where you walk around. I didn't play oh, that that's, one. Oh, that's that's. Those are Miles Edgeworth investigations, I think. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I think the only one for the DS I did not play. <sighs> such. This is such nerd shit. What's what's you just talking about Mega Man timeline shit for ages? No, Mega Man's cool. Mega Man's about the horrors of war. Yeah, Phoenix Wright is about the horrors of the law. I mean, this is just about this is just about the legal system. This is about being a fucking suit. Look, I'm just saying. There's a there's a lady called Franziska von Karma, and she has a whip, and she whips people, and she's got a soft inner side, and it's so much my favorite type of character that i just can't help but love oh, the whole um, game it's that's uh that's anime stuff if you're into anime stuff no. it's kind of like not no th- not no really thank anime. you to anime the, stuff it's not really like the way it looks the sprite work is just good it, it looks like the, the, the chunky and like more westernized than normal anime the the later games like apollo justice and some some other ones that i haven't played um, uh, that are built for the DS, where they they up the anime a little too much. This is what happened to the Fire Emblem as well. I fucking hate this. As soon as they have more fidelity to draw things, they hire artists that are just too Japanese, and they ruin the style of the original games. Well, I, Fire I, I, Emblem um, and Ace Attorney mm. both went down the fucking garbage. I, I wasn't, as soon as they got um, too many pixels, I wasn't talking Less about pixels. The, the art style. <laughs> I just mean that's um, just, that's the case with every game. There's a critical mass of pixels that a game just can can't sustain, and then it's bad forever. That's why Pokemon is bad once it went to the fucking 3DS. Uh, um, agreed. I suppose too many poly, too many I, polygons. I kind of like which are just pixels but bigger. I kind of like the 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 character design of of Pokemon Sun and Moon for like people. Like it's it's not too anime. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. But that's a whole that's a whole other can of worms. But um, um Okay. I, I, fair, I wasn't, fair enough. Um, um okay, my 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 problem with Ace Attorney, my problem with Ace Attorney was one, uh it's boring. Two, no. uh the act the, the like the actual court moments are like it, I didn't really feel like I was like solving a puzzle. I kind of just felt like I was just going down dialogue trees, um, which sucked. Um, and also, okay, and this one's weird. And this was, people probably aren't going to agree with me on this one, but like the fucking case in the first game, I don't know. I didn't like the fact that you're like that you're like solving a fucking murder case about like a woman who was just like fucking murdered in her home and like had her head bashed in and it's got, but like the proceedings as you try and discover who did this is just like very kind of like, it's only like sort of serious and kind of goofy. And I just didn't like it. I was felt uncomfortable about like, this is like gruesome. Like the crime here is gruesome and like, it's not being treated with the fucking uh, uh, gravitas that it deserves. That might uh, that might be personal, but I feel like the other two are objective criticisms that make the game objectively bad. Uh, why do you feel like it's not you're not solving a puzzle? Because I because part of part of my my favorite thing is like listening to all the dialogue, you know, like investigating, getting getting the the the, the, the testimonies and like checking the court record and seeing what information I have to figure out who's lying and how. That's that's like fun. I guess I never, I never felt like, uh, I don't know, it's been a little while since I played it, but, uh, I, I, I never felt, I never felt at all like I was in danger of, like, losing, um, it just felt like I just had to, like, like, I would win either because I, not because I, like, deduced something, but because, like, I don't know, like, there was, like, a really obvious hint that was, like, yes, this is the option you should choose right now. Well, or even if I didn't have that, I could just exhaust every possibility. And, like, maybe I would lose if I really tried to. But it, it just never felt like a real threat. I mean, it was like, ooh, sure. I gotta be careful here. Like, it's it's not the hardest game ever. It's just... I think it's it's easy to, like get there by just clicking random buttons if you really want to play it like that. But if you want to figure it out, the puzzle aspect is, like, engaging and fun. Well, well, I, well I didn't think so, because I didn't... I, when I found a clue, I would just feel like... It didn't feel like I had to... Okay, it kind of had the same problem, but worse, as, like, um... What was that game? Um... What was that game by the Papers, Please guy? The one where you're on a boat and you got to solve who killed who? I don't uh, know. Something uh, oh, Obradin, um, I think. O Obradin something? Obradin, Return of the Obradin. Um, that one also kind of had this, but not as bad, where it's like, okay, the clue, it's not, you, you're not like looking at the scene holistically and deciding like, hmm, what could this, what could have happened here? Like, what could be going on? What are the possibilities? You're looking at it as though like this is a, a clue that has been constructed for you by a game designer and you are taking that hint. You're like, okay, what hint are they trying to give me with this? Uh, okay, they mean to tell me that like this is what happened. I mean, sure. You know I just, I just it was like, like more, more inductive than deductive. Uh, which is a problem a lot of games have. That's not unique to to Phoenix well, Wright. Um, sure. But it, I, it just, it I, doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm solving a, a crime. It feels like I'm following a trail of breadcrumbs. I think what helps me with all that is that I in, like the 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 reward for getting it right is hearing more of like what the story and the dialogue and the characters are all all that stuff. If you, it's like um sure. The, it's like a really good visual novel with um yeah. like uh a little bit of puzzle solving in like law courtroom shenanigans. And I, if you don't okay, care okay. so much well, about well, that... like what the characters are going to say, like then the the puzzle maybe isn't that incredible. That bring okay, I totally understand that. Um and maybe this is something that the later games are better at than the first one, but like that brings me back to my first point, which is that it was boring. Because, like, there was so much, like, clicking through stuff. There was so much, like, time wasty stuff between the moments when, you know, you, you, you put the clue together and then you get the next piece of the puzzle. But it just didn't... I like it. It just wasn't that engaging for I, me. I mean, I, I will I say... Know. I will say the first game... I, I, I bet, it, I the, bet the series gets better. I'm, I bet the series yeah. gets better. Re replaying the first game, it is yeah. definitely a little 
lacking in some of the the interest in in like dialogue stuff because they're just figuring out what these characters are like. Second game and third game are like they really step it up on some of the cases. Definitely the third game I love a lot. Well, I um yeah I enjoyed the story of these games, but uh, I guess the gameplay maybe could be better. But I think um. I think it's just inherently difficult to make gameplay for a detective kind of thing like this. I don't know if it's ever been done uh, like completely successfully before. I, hmm. Well, I don't know about completely successfully. I liked L.A. Noir. That, that was a good one because you could miss pieces of evidence and go down a path and still complete the case and you would just get the wrong guy. What was that one... What was that one like point and click detective game? And like Davu made a video about it. I don't know. And it, it had like a very like sort of picture book sort of. Uh, was it a DS uh, game? I don't know. Uh, let's it go might to have been a DS com. game. Hang on. No. <laughs> I'm going to go to Davu.youtube. What? It's the one where you're, you're at like a swamp and you got to like. Solve an alligator crime. <laughs> that sounds like my kind of crime. I don't know. Um, it does. Uh, uh, never, like... never call an alligator crocodile. Why? I wouldn't. Would you? Because uh, it's like calling a, a Chinese person a Japanese. I, I found it. Detective Grimoire. Yes. Detective Grimoire. It's Eleven minutes long. I, I can't remember this. I you. Know, you know what? I actually didn't play this game. I just feel like I did play this game because I watched this video several times and I feel like I know everything there is to know about it. And for I only just now was like, wait a minute. No, I never I never played this game. Like, what am I talking about? I think yeah, I saw I, my I brother play before. this game. It looks it looks pretty good. I, yeah, but I forget what what about this is like good detective stuff. So uh, uh, go think, watch the video, I think everybody. Makes some Makes fill in the gap I think in this she makes conversation. Some points that are like it does some things pretty good, but other things, eh, it's just okay. <laughs> That's just every video about <laughs> anything. Well, into well, well, because we were talking about like like it, in terms of like specifically how it simulates the like detective like clue finding problem solving solve the crime sort of thing yeah, that's that uh that's like really that. hard to do, and uh, I kind of wish they would have yeah. a, a game that does that well because I think that would be a lot of fun. I I mean, yeah. the thing I was talking about last week or a week before, I can't remember, about, like, um, what was it? Picross, which is, like, it's, I feel like it's detective, but, like, at the very basis level where you are using the information you have to determine which blocks, uh, which squares are colored in and which ones aren't. And um, if you make a mistake, you are stupid. Yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of That's true. the sort of sure. the, the neural firing that I enjoy. It's like, I wonder, hmm, which, is this the way it is? And then the answer <laughs> is, this is the way it is. You were right. And I was, feel so well, you fucking know, um, smart. A lot of older RPGs, especially for the NES and 8-bit era, they, uh, they had a slight detective element to them because in order to figure out where to go, you need to talk to the NPCs in town and uh, piece together... Bit like the clues and hints like uh because uh there would be no uh no cut scenes to tell you where to go so you need to just talk to the random townspeople and, and use their cryptic hints to figure out uh how to solve uh the problem of the town or uh, whatever is going on Wait, which which games are you talking about like like Castlevania 2 no, I mean uh 8-bit RPGs like Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior and um things of that yeah. nature I haven't played any of those extremely old um, uh, RPGs. And actually, I I um, played a remake of Final Fantasy One. Yeah, Final Fantasy so. One is another uh, good example of that. And actually, the the original Pokemon Red and Blue, um, they were heavily inspired by those old eight bit RPGs because it was in itself an eight bit RPG, if you remember. More like a two bit RPG. More than eight bits. Um, no, just just two, just nine, just bits. one, like like. On or off, like Game Boy. Uh, and also... Um, 
Every game is a two bit game if you think about it like that. Well, officially, every uh, game is bits. binary. O- officially, Pokemon was inspired by a、uh, Final Fantasy Legend on the Game Boy, or as it's known in Japan, the Saga series. God, there's so many fucking sagas, so many fucking series of things, franchises. What the fuck? No thanks. What were they thinking? What no, were they thinking? No, thank you. I'll have none of that, please. Uh, why am I scrolling through pictures of Franziska von Karma? Because you love、Stupid. her, Ben. <laughs> no, no, you. <laughs> well, that's true. Well, you I got、uh, me there. <laughs> yeah. The reason yeah. why I、uh, the reason why I like the plots of the you know the Phoenix Wright games is because I'm, I'm a big sucker for murder mystery plots. Even though it's pretty cliche, I guess.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, it, that's、sure. the thing. Is like, the butler did it. Like, murders is boring. Like, somebody wanted someone dead. You just got to figure out why, and whatever. Like, oh, the, the murder weapon. Oh, I heard that before. <laughs> Said the detective on the crime scene for the one hundredth time.、Yeah. Oh, someone's dead. <laughs> oh, how, Big surprise! How cliche! I、oh, said, like putting、oh, the tape around the body. Tell me something I don't know. There's a fucking body. Whatever. <laughs> Like it's yeah, that, that it's, it's like when it comes to crime drama, that is the 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 most overused in media. But it's obvious because it's like higher stakes than a parking fine. Imagine if they solve a fucking detective crime game where it's like,、oh, who fucking who fucking hasn't paid their fucking parking <laughs> tickets yet? <laughs> a detective game where it's just you go to see what car, whether it has the 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 parking meter like ticket. If it doesn't, you give it a fine. You just move on. Actually, that would, I want an open world、mm. game like that. You walk around the entire city just giving out parking tickets. Well, I'm sure that would be riveting gameplay. I mean, you could you can make a good game out of anything. You could. You、just、really like you could make a like, good story out of anything. Stupid, boring things that、it. suck、uh, can be great as long as you are yeah, smart. Yeah, pa- Papers Please, Papers Please was a great game. Yeah, that's what I hear. Because it was bad. You could you could make a good game about being being the coffee or the tea guy in a in a studio in a in a work office. It's like, hey, get the tea, and you got to make sure you get the tea before they're upset、what's、with that, you. What's, What's what's that game on the NES where you just gotta fucking like give people root beer? You know the one. Oh, Tapper? something. Yeah, I've seen it parody. Yeah, you throw yeah beer at, at people. But you always、They're、gotta coming at you. You gotta throw <sighs> sarsaparilla. Beer. Everybody's always、uh, rooting for beer. More more beer. Wait,、uh, what does what does Gaston say? Let's just say, like, more than I can bear. More beer? What for? I'm depressed. That's me in 2021. <laughs> But、uh, I, I like. I、uh, use、um... beer in all of my decorating. <laughs> <laughs> I think、uh, the main reason I like、uh, murder mystery plots is just all the the plot twists and surprise elements. If if it's genuinely surprising, that is. And、um, I hate to be surprised. No thanks. Yeah, I think just, Pre- Phoenix Wright is is, I just is want, pretty great I just at like having、fiction. having situations that unfold in a way that you can't guess exactly what's going to happen next, and it's quite good. I always you know that、uh, it's、hmm. not obvious. It's written really well. Yeah. Once the guy who made、um, the first three, he didn't do、um, Miles Edgeworth investigations. He, there was a team of writers that made what that one, and apparently that one sucks hard. That's a good thing I didn't play it. It doesn't、then. have his 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 smart writing thought to like make everything fit together nicely.、Uh, and that 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 one video I made about Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, um, that was、yeah. also written by him and the creator of Professor Layton. So it was like doubly good written. That was such a good game. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember that video you made. It was、uh, pretty good, from what I recall. Yeah, it was before I, I, I didn't have, and still don't know how to、uh, record DS footage. So I just don't. It didn't bother. I just pointed a camera at it. Well,、um, I always like it in murder mystery plots when the cop is turns out to be the bad guy, or you know, because that's because that's just real life. Yeah, basically, or you know, when one of the good、yeah. guys turns out to be the bad guy, because、uh, 
again, it's kind of cliched, but I, uh, I just love that betrayal plot point. And um, dude, sure, I mean, remember? I like to, I like to be surprised. 24? I like to be blindsided. Oh yeah, I used to be a big fan. Seen like a li- seen like a little bit of it. First series. Spoiler alert: Someone's a bad guy. <laughs> Nobody knows who it is. No, fuck. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> the bad guy. What? <laughs> Why would I want to watch a show, Gib, that has a bad guy in it? I like good guys. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting experiment to have a show where everything is just fine the whole time. And there's not even um, an any problems is, well no that's that's just um isn't that just what like slice of life is well you know i don't think so because like slice of life the problems they deal with are not big deals because it's usually from they I don't they know, have high school. problems they okay but, okay they have they might have a problem or a conflict but like but no it's one's never like a murder guy. yeah it's there's always no just like I mean, maybe, it's just maybe like, sometimes oh, there's like a jerk. I'm late for the yeah. dance. I ripped oh, my dress no. and now can I can't go there. How can I get to school? There. That sucks. How can I get to my first day of school and eat my toast at the same time? <laughs> well, <laughs> every know. story has a conflict, um, no matter how small or big it is. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna break no. new ground. I'm gonna have no, a story where nothing happens at all. It's a show about nothing. Nothing happens. A show about nothing. That sounds quite familiar to nothing. me. Nothing. Nothing happens. Maybe something happens on his way to work. No, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uh, shot of him driving for 45 that's minutes. Like, uh, that's, like, that's like Birdemic. If you're murdered by a sign, I guess that means you're a sign found. Oh, God. Christ. Christ, I'll fucking mind. Sorry, I am. Um, maybe um, I should tone it down from here on. <laughs> maybe you should fucking go to jail. <laughs> Maybe you should fucking go to voice jail. It'll be the first time we ever put a guest in voice jail. But there's a first time for everything, I guess. Uh so here's why I'm upset. Um I can't I can't get my gummies to be right. Oh I thought com- you had the, keep, uh, they just the, keep the the recipe correct. They, no, I can never. I, I like. I'll get it right one time, and then I'll like try and do it again, and it, and it, like it doesn't work. Like the last time, I was like, "Oh, okay, I wasn't using enough pectin. That's why they were coming out too like too too jello like." And then I I tried making some yesterday, and I was like, "Okay, I'll use more pectin like I did last time." So I use the more pectin, and they come out. They come out like all fucking crumbly and gross, and I'm like, "What a." What did I do? And then I go back to less, ben, and they come out gummy again. I'm like, it doesn't how, work. How are you measuring? I do the same thing. The input. Are you doing it very precisely? I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing it with like a spoon, you know, oh, with like that's... measuring spoons. Oh, okay, I'm measuring spoon. Oh, okay. Yeah, not like a spoon spoon. No, I re- I really just remember like, okay, I use a tablespoon of this. I use a teaspoon of that. Da 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 da. Um, man, man. Well, what oh, about the? Uh, you know what? You know the what it cooking is. Cooking times. The the, the move. The move to corn syrup. I don't. I don't cook it. I just like. I just heat it and dissolve it and refrigerate it. The switch to corn. Corn syrup just doesn't work that well. Honestly, like the weird like fiber shit. The IMO just worked so good. It was so good. And even though it's like it's like a weird substitute for sugar, but it's literally better than the real thing. I'm now a, I can't fucking. I'm get a little it behind anywhere. on the gummy saga. What the, I remember you saying it's no longer keto gummies. Um, what's the yeah. the sugar thing? Is that part of keto? You can you can theoretically make them you can theoretically make them with a like highly concentrated sugar solution in water. But I decided to try making them with corn syrup because corn syrup has a pretty similar consistency to the isomaltooligosaccharide fiber syrup that I had been using for the keto variety. And I just this is what I've been this is what I've been trying to do, and I just can't I just can't get it to be I just can't get it to be both smooth and gummy like, but also like have enough bite to it that it tastes like a gummy and not just like a jiggler. And I and I have made like three batches the last few days that have all failed. They're all trash. Um and it's annoying because pectin is expensive. Um like using a tablespoon of, of fruit pectin is like, well, that's like several dollars worth of ingredients right there. Sure, blowing a lot of money on this uh, project. 
I'm think I can write it off. I think I can write it off as a taxable expense. I hope. Well, you talk about it. I have on, probably it, use it as content as a yeah. like thing to talk yeah, about yeah. on your on your income show. <laughs> that's that's have, what this is called. Probably, the income show. I have probably spent possibly over a thousand dollars on like what? weird on like various powders and like items and objects and molds and and liquids and ingredients and actually. Stuff. Now that I think about it, you've been doing it for quite a while. That isn't that big of an expense if it's involving yeah. like the equipment as as well. Well, the I mean the equipment's not that. I mean the molds were like, I don't know, I probably maybe like maybe like 50 or 70 bucks on all these different molds and stuff. They're not that expensive. Yeah, but think um, of all the bitcoin. Yeah, it's mostly uh, just the, the think of all the bitcoin you could have bought with that $1000, Ben. Oh man. Did I did I say last week that I'm out of the bitcoin game? You did, yeah. Did I? Okay, well, I just, I just want to say that uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I was upset when I got out of the Bitcoin because I had been up like a thousand dollars, and when I got out, I had lost like two hundred. So like, oh god! But it could have been so much worse because it has continued to go down since then. I sold it at around like thirty, thirty five k, and now it is down to like under thirty two. So. You know, I'm just glad that I sold when I did, because oh, it seems to be the the market has turned bearish, as they say. I've got something to mention about Coinbase specifically, because that was the thing mm. I was using. Um, apparently, you can't take money out, like in 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 normal currency. You can put money in, and you can trade the Bitcoin for different cryptocurrencies, but you need a different program to turn it back into real money um so uh, yeah my brother he 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 tried it as well and he found that it was like like not good so don't get coinbase i guess i still everyone look at tell, coinbase everyone says to use coinbase yeah how's how's your one pound doing uh 83 p- uh, pence right now it's actually gone yeah up since a little while ago so uh, oh yeah it went really it, far it, down like yesterday it was down yeah 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 around uh around midnight on around midnight on uh thursday it was down to like under 30k it's bounced back a little bit yeah i noticed uh, it went uh, down a lot but i don't know i just used that opportunity to buy more did you know. actually yeah because in theory it should go up eventually in the future at some point hopefully Okay, but I'm, did you but did you actually did you actually buy some? Yeah, I did, I did buy some when it went down. It hasn't like really when gone it was down that below. far down. If you look at the old time, it's yeah, just it's I, it's not really enough for me. I would I wouldn't want it to get I like think, really I think it's like gonna crash go, and then I'll be like, yeah, I'll buy. I it. think it's gonna go down further. Yeah, I probably I think it's gonna go down longer. further and settle. It might. I think it might settle around like maybe twenty five or maybe twenty or maybe even lower. I don't know. And then it'll probably just hang out for a while, and then maybe it'll have another fucking boom. Or not. Another or maybe it'll just boom. dwindle to zero. Uh, the bit, the Bitcoin boom, they're going to have another, with like, one day, like, when everybody in the world owns Bitcoin, and then the price goes to the moon, everybody in the world will be a millionaire, and uh, everybody will just start having babies left and right, and that'll be, uh, the, and that'll be the boomers mark two, the Bitcoin <laughs> Wait, boomers. And that's, uh, Why will and, people uh, have ba- babies because of the Bitcoin? Because everyone, I don't know, when, when good things happen, people have babies. But then you can afford them. But that's a bad thing. You don't want to have a yeah. bad thing to ruin a good thing. Look, I, I don't know. I, it's just when, when good babies things happen... Babies is evil. That's when, that's, well, why do you think the first baby boom happened? Because they died in the war, and it's like, we've got to make more. No! <laughs> no, you fucking weirdo. It wasn't that, like, oh, I shit, know, they, oh, they were no, just happy. everyone's dead. They were just dead. happy that they're no we... longer getting bombed. So it's like, yeah, yeah. cool. Wanna <laughs> well, fuck? it was that plus the fact... It was that plus the fact that like the economy was going like nuts because of like the post war boom or whatever. Yeah. Like now na- now we can yeah. we can take all of Germany's resources and yeah, things are cheap. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And like, you know, we we I don't know, we made like so many we made so much money on bombs or whatever. I don't know, whatever the fuck it was. Whatever it was that we were doing that made our 
economy. Yeah, I I never good. really went back and learned more about World War II beyond documentaries that I occasionally catch on TV and my school, like uh, education. There's probably a lot more going on there that like governments don't want me to know about. Probably, probably yeah. I mean, I surely everything's declassified now. Sure, but like um, my my specific like edu like I've only seen documentaries broadcast on the BBC and my English oh, school. Sure. So that's like that's definitely oh, sure. biased perspective on exactly what happened. I mean, I don't. know. It seems like the BBC is a real piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, BBC seems like it's a real fucking biased uh, news. Yeah, news I, I I don't like like they're okay for some things, but I will never yeah. really forgive them for like ruining Jeremy Corbyn's reputation in that in yeah. that to to you know the whole anti-Semitism thing, which was stupid and not even real. They just BBC kept going just about it until like... people believed it, and then he lost. BBC Great. seems like it's a it's a little bit like. It's a little bit like halfway between like something like CNN and something like Fox News, which is I, like a really bad. I don't medium. know if it's like it's that. not a good happy medium. It's definitely okay. a, a CNN like s like similar sort of like liberal, mm. not really. Yeah, not the you know anti-socialist for sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you're saying it's just like reg just regular neolib shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not I, like that. You know, I guess CNN. I guess like CNN would probably. I guess CNN would probably be similar. Like CNN is probably very much like, hmm. You know, are, are trans people corrupting our youth more at eleven? You know, give give both sides of yeah. the argument or whatever. Yeah, the, enli the enlightened the centrist position. Like I could feel. Mm. I feel like that would be generally a normal BBC <laughs> thought. It's like, huh. What if we yeah. platformed both sides? Mm, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I saw. Um, I saw. I just happened to see a video of Roosh. You know, you remember Roosh? Uh, Roosh V. Who's that? Yeah, I Roosh think V I've is the heard uh, of that name. Never, never heard of him. I don't. I don't. You've never heard of him? Nope. Um. Well, he used. He used to be like a pickup artist guy who I, I kind of followed and I kind of, honestly I kind of liked him. I'm ashamed to say that now, but like I like followed this guy and read his stuff and was like, yeah, this guy seems cool. Um, and, you know, anytime he said like some misogyny stuff, I was like, haha, that's he's just joking about that. Well, you know, I know he's been really he's been really bad for a long time, but I saw him on like a, a live stream of him uh, like that he did just like last week. And he's talking to some guy called, he's called the Muslim skeptic, I think. I don't know anything about that guy. But um, he's like some Muslim guy who doesn't, I, I don't know. That's literally all I know is he's a Muslim and he's a skeptic. Um, but I don't know, R Roosh was just going, he's just literally just being like, yeah, you know, Hollywood's run by the Jews. You know, they're all lying to you. You know, they want to fucking do miscegenation to dilute the white race. Just, un uh. just unironically <laughs> that stuff. I was like, I can't. I can't believe it. <laughs> this 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 guy used to be like this guy is like a hard he's like a hardcore like traditional like uh uh like Christian values guy now. This guy used to be this guy used to write books about how you could like um you know uh uh get one night stands with girls at bars. <laughs> Which is what I was here for. Well, uh, I mean in hindsight it doesn't seem that he's got a great, ridiculous he, that he would eventually He's got a be great beard though. Strange. He's got a great beard. He's he got looks, a great what? He looks fantastic. A great beard. Spectacular. I think <laughs> uh, uh, this is what's known in some circles as a grifter. Uh, I don't think he is a grifter. I think he's a, a genuinely a fucking a psycho. <laughs> I know, I think he he totally believes it. He's he's I don't think he's just following the money. Well, you never uh, know. Uh, it's, temp it's tempting. For some reason, there. Um... I don't know. I was just as it was just disturbing. It's just disturbing because this was and and I met this guy. I'm probably saying that I, like I I literally met this guy and hung out with him a couple of times. Uh, I've have probably mentioned that on here. I met him. I met him in Poland. This was this was before he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't quite like this back then. But that was what maybe like six years ago. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> 
so just so just un- unpleasant. I was like, ugh, well, I felt a little sick, honestly, hearing well, that. Well, um, this is the perfect guy to get all your World World War Two uh, info from. I think we gotta get Roosh on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please enlighten uh, us about World War Two. Who really was at fault? How many? How many? I mean, you know, hey, six million. That's like doesn't sense. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, nice. uh, nobody is perfect. Not even Adolf Hitler. No. Yeah, <laughs> and and then all, the, all this time I thought he was, but apparently, all apparently he's cringe. Apparently he said some cringe things. Now he's canceled. Yeah, he everybody makes mistakes. Couldn't even. Ah, uh, you know what? We should. Couldn't, we should, we couldn't should, even uh, finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's move on. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I, I don't know why I brought this up. That letter from Chris Chan. I felt chipper. Now I'm depressed again. Oh, just uh, bring, bring up the tr- Chris Chan thing again. You'll be chipper all over. Oh again. yeah. I'll just I'll just read the letter again. <laughs> I should. I should. Every time I should, you, uh, you feel should... down, you just look at, over at the podra and you're like, ah, yes. Things is good. Uh, nothing yeah. brings the mood down like more than the Holocaust. It's it's actually it's actually pretty ugly. Honestly, it's actually not a particularly attractive rock. Uh, this little bit of a hemimorphite. It actually just looks like mold. Um, I, I I I'll show a picture in the in the podcast. I wish I had a picture on my. You know what? I'll take a picture right now. Right fucking now. A few moments later. Are you are you ready to see this shit? I'm ready. Uh, no. Are you, are you ready for the fucking to have your mind shattered and your pelvis shattered? Uh, Here we go. Yes to the first part, no to the second part. Here we go. Yes to the second part. Podrin. Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. it looks like mold, right? It look yeah, it looks a little dusty, like like it's something's growing on it. It looks like a yeah. It's not like big chunks. I mean, it, it's not like big like crystal chunks. It's just like very small little like it's very small crystals, just kind of like in like a layer on top of this like geode rock or. And that's whatever. what I was gonna say. It looks like one of those geo rocks or whatever they call it. Yeah, oh. I mean, I guess it's not technically one. It I, I don't or maybe Dude, it is. I don't know. What if I don't know what, what specifically makes a geode a geode. Ben, do you have yeah. the capability mm-hmm. to make like a silicon mold, like by by pouring it over this, and make a podrin uh, uh, gummy? <laughs> uh, I would find a better rock to do that with. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to think of ways this um, could be interesting. Um, oh man, if, maybe shine really ultraviolet cool, really light cool. on it. I've I've talked before about how cool it would be to have like 3D molds of like RFCK things like the various fruits and vegetables and a podrin too would be cool and just make make gummies out of that. Once I once I had the perfect recipe and could actually get my hands on the fucking ingredients. <sighs> Found a new flavor company though. The new the new flavors that I bought make the old ones. The, the old ones were like bad. Like some of them were just terrible. The new ones, incredible. The new watermelon I got, mwah, beautiful, perfect. Guava, love it. Strawberry, decent. Cherry, pretty good. <laughs> this is a big step up from what it was. So uh, when are you going to start selling these gummies? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe never. <laughs> Maybe never, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta make some money, Ben. Uh... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. You live in a capitalistic society. Uh, You need to sell everything you make. It would take, it would take a lot of, um, I would have to build up a bunch of infrastructure for that. I would have to, I would have to have a lot of things in place that I don't have, like a storefront and, and molds and like a slightly more, like a more, a more steady supply of stuff and like a, a settled upon recipe that I'm like, this is what it's made of. This is how I make it, which I don't really but, have. Um, I don't have any of that. Can't you just sell it online or it's something? A fucking nightmare. Well, yeah, but what about all that other stuff I just said? Uh, step by uh, step. Uh, I don't know. Let's open up a fucking Etsy page. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, sounds complicated. Sounds complicated, and like a dozen people would buy them, and then 
what's even the point? I mean, what's the what's the point of anything? You know, we're all just gonna die. You know, and soon too, very soon. That's a good point. Yeah, the thing with um, like <laughs> selling food products, I think would be like much more complicated and annoying, like mailing them, than it would other probably. Things. Like you would need to be a local dummy seller. You'd have to go to the market. I would have to. I would at the very least have to like label them and get like you know ingredient. Like like they have to be labeled for sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Food grade plastic. It depends on uh, how perishable they are. If they go bad quickly, then it's uh, pretty difficult. Here's, I mean, the thing about it is that, like, I don't expect to ever make any money from it. So if I do it, it'll only be because I think it would be fun and cool. Uh, and I would just be, and I could, <laughs> and it would amuse me. Uh, so if I ever do it, that will be why. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe uh, send it to people on, on your Patreon as a Patreon bonus. No. No, anything but that. No, <laughs> no, I don't. At least I don't want to. I don't want to do like monthly. Like I think like Tom does like monthly or bi monthly or whatever like care packages. I think maybe Digi does. I'm not sure. She used does, to. Like, I'm the... not sure if she still does. Yeah, the uh, whole, but I don't want to do that. I feel like yeah, like that would be. You need to be making, uh, like all of this extra stuff and then sending it in a little envelope yeah. on a usb stick or whatever yeah which That's i kind of already do well I, well I kind of do that just well because every now and then somebody buys some more like pins or whatever so i'm kind of doing that but even, like those are just one-time transactions it's yeah. not like it's it's not i don't i don't want to like set myself up with any more like monthly or weekly responsibilities i mean it's to not, me uh... the, the idea of of like setting up things that i mail to people makes less sense because the majority of like English speaking viewers of things are going to be from America which means a whole lot of bullshit shipping oh, crap. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's so, like, true. It's always going to be a, a hassle. Uh, I could say yeah. Europe only and much less like things would happen. Yeah, that's that's a good point. It's just it's just going to be like inherently more expensive for you to do it. Oh, and now because yeah, of Brexit, even Europe is going to be fucking annoying. Oh. Nice. God. Nice. Damn it. Awesome. You really, uh, you really lucked out Man. there. Europe's so fucking cool. Like you know, not England anymore. No. But it's 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 so fu- it's so fucking cool that they just like decided like, hey, you know, our borders like fuck them. Let's just set up like high speed trains that just go everywhere between our fucking countries, and then they just did that. Yeah. That's so great. I mean And then you it's... you people just threw it in the trash. Well, I mean, the train can't go over the water. You personally ruined it. You ruined it. There's no point anymore. Just throw it all away. Just, I just was there. burn the I was there in, the in, in the shadows, like climbing <laughs> down like a little rope and then whispering into the ear of the Prime Minister at the time, whoever it was, saying, uh, dude mm. Brexit, like that'll be a cool <laughs> title. <laughs> you know, catchy slogan. Why didn't you just say that? And then they did. Uh, and then he did. Well, uh, and, uh, Brexit does sound pretty cool. And it was really funny. You know the the word, the um, name, the name Brexit. So I can see why it cut on. It's yeah. It's catchy. Yeah, it's catchy. Annoyingly, uh, people are good at making things sound good, even though they're bad. Um. I feel like we should have something to say about like the new president, but like I don't. <laughs> like nothing happens. Nothing's happened with that. He's, he's uh, undone some some Trump things immediately, which is like, yeah, sure, uh, uh, yeah, bare sure. minimum so far. Cool, I guess. Kids, kids still in cages. That's fine. That's good. Uh, well, that uh, <laughs> isn't that something that's been around for a long time. Um... Um, it would like the, the centers were like built by Obama. They were used under Obama. Trump, like they've were, they've been used more under Trump, but they could be does they could literally be dissolved and like emptied out like under exec by executive order, like anytime. 
Yeah, but what I, uh, what I mean is, could, it, it seems just, like we could um, literally just stop doing that any fucking. Seems time like we that goes to. beyond administrations uh, for whatever reason. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like uh, why, why would so many? Uh, but, uh, why would so many presidents from different parties continue to do the same thing? Because they're all the same. <sighs> they're evil. Yeah, that's right. Pieces yeah, of yeah, shit. The, the only part, way you get because they're most they're made, mostly the same. That the only way you can get to the top is by appeasing the largest number of people, which means you have to have no morals, no fiber, no no character, no character development. That's right. Nothing. You have That's to right. be a, an empty shell, or otherwise uh, right. a freak. A ghost in the shell. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm writing all this down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. This is fucking, this is hot tips. Hot tips and tricks. This is speedrun. Speedrun government. Uh, yeah, speedrun the presidency. Speedrun the presidency, exactly. Uh, Joe, Joe Biden, like, slow run the presidency, because he's like 85. Uh, so, you know, but he got, he got there, you know, God bless him. Uh, no, I won't. N- okay, I won't I'm bless, sorry. I won't bless that guy, that son of a bitch. That son of a, that, that, that whore son. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then about, that's me. That's voicemails? not very nice. Shut up. Shut the <laughs> hell up. Uh, do you want to, do you want to go voicemails? We can start, we can start voicemails now. Uh, yeah, we could, we could. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's I'm been good. almost two hours. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Let's do. Let's do one. The first one that we got this week is called um. How wait? It's called how to unkill the podcast. Uh. Cool. Wait. I'm uploading it to the general. Okay. There it is. How to unkill the podcast. Three, two, one, go. I have a great idea on how to revive the podcast, guys. So, Endless Jess, Digibro, don't like Monkey Jones. They hate him, right? Yeah. Uh, best guy ever, would rather not associate with him. Good thing all those people are never on the fucking podcast anymore. So, this like, is, this is not the first I person to have Monkey this. Jones as a guest. This... Uh, and, then, and then more people would watch the podcast and it wouldn't be dead anymore. Uh, well, what do you guys think? This is not the first time this has been suggested. I mean, is uh, is Monkey even like hot shit like he used to be no, anymore? No. I mean, like I I I I literally proposed this, uh, but but like, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't revive <laughs> it wouldn't revive the podcast to have Monkey. Yeah, Monkey's not that hot shit. Monkey had a moment there where he was like the, he was the. He was the uh, the the free speech uh uh you know help I'm being censored guy du jour, um and then and then it, and, you know and then that came and went and then he had his and cringe arc and it was like hmm. he had his cringe arc which is pretty funny it was funny. we all had a, we all had a lot of laughs uh <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah we could I guess I would say we could do that and I wouldn't even be that opposed to it. But it's not going to revive the podcast. Like, give me a give me a break. Give yeah, a I break. agree. That's not going to revive anything. But um, why not? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it's yeah. fine. I mean, I mean, I mean, I think Monkey's kind of an asshole. But like, whatever. Like, we had we had fucking we had Merlogic on. So like, whatever. It's not. It's not like we have standards. Uh, <sighs> I guess so. Lol. Um, but whatever. Like, I don't really care. Um, okay, the next, the next one is called, oh god, I, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for Kringus Bingus 2. Oh no. The sequel. Oh yes. Oh yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. Hello, PCP. It's me again. Yeah. Kringus Bingus, your favorite PCP (laughs) voicemail lever. Uh, that's ever called into the show. Today, I will talk to you about what I cringed and what I binged again. What I cringed at, the thing that I cringed at is people telling me what they think I should do. Because sometimes I just want to sleep until five in the afternoon and watch anime all day and do nothing else. And people try to tell me that that's bad and they're wrong because I'm just having fun. I'm just having a good time. So I cring when they tell me that I shouldn't be doing that. The thing I binged, 
And what I binged this week was a bunch of cookies. I got a box of cookies <laughs> from the store and I ate them all. I binged all the cookies in, in like two days and I kind of got a tummy ache and I had so many carbs. So many carbs in the cookies that now I That's bang. Kring. Anyway, that's me. Kring is Bingus. Sign yeah. Up. yeah, yeah. We'll talk to you next week. Your favorite PCP boys, Middle Lever, Kring is Bingus. Kring is Bingus. Kring is Bingus. Kring is Bingus. I sure like did this it. guy. He, he fucking, uh, he fucking delivered. He, he showed, he showed up and he showed out. He brought the goods. He delivered yeah. the package. I think, I think this is the start of an arc. This is the start of an arc start that of a will beautiful never friendship. This is the start of a, a rising star that will never fall. We'll never get tired of this bit <laughs> under no. any circumstances. There's <laughs> yeah, nothing. Exactly. There's nothing. There's there's nothing so racist that Kringus Bingus could do that would make us stop loving him. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm prepared to say, uh, right now. Uh, <laughs> cool. Well, Thanks for true. the voicemail. C, can I can I call you CB? Can I call you CB for short? You know, we get on a we're 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 close personal friends. Okay, next one. Next one is called Ben Saint is not a bad person. Wow. Three, two, one, go. You see, Ben isn't a bad person. He isn't even a stupid person. He's just like. His his worldview is all twisted up from all the lies he's ingested. Uh-huh. Honestly, I think he could benefit from some form of formal Conversion re-education therapy. encampment of some kind. Pony yeah, hypnosis. To, uh, teach him, you know, like facts <laughs> and logic and stuff. I love facts and logic. Um, Nobody loves this those. This is my opinion. Me. I know he's going to lash out against this because <laughs> he's a child, but you know. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> No education. Ben, Ben, ben don't Stop throw it. those out no. of the pram. No. They go yeah. in the pram. Yeah. They stay in the pram. This pretty critical. No, I don't want to learn anything. No, I hate facts and logic. <laughs> <sighs> We're learning. Uh, learning kind of sucks. I'm not. I'm not. You know. I'm just. I'm just flawed. You know. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. It's just one of my foibles. Just one of my foibles that just makes me even more lovable. Is that I hate the truth, and I love uh, lies. Next uh, one. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Next one is called "You're a Joker, and You Didn't Even Know Ker." Three, two, one, go. Uh, I'm listening. I'm a few episodes behind, and I'm listening to Gib talk about how she likes fire. And Ben was like, oh, yeah, fire's cool, I guess. But I'm not super stoked about it. And nobody, re- no one recognized the pun. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Sorry. Sorry. I didn't even notice. I mean. You see, if I was there, I, yeah. things would have been different. Yeah, you would have said it instead. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I say stoked as a matter of course. So, yeah. Wait, was that not accidental? A, not a, I think so, yeah. Lol. And then it doesn't like, count. That's just that's just that's just a phrase that I use. So yeah, no, I just I don't know. It's got to be on purpose. Good, good. It, it, what? <laughs> so uh, good, good catch, good catch. Uh, the next one Sweet is catch. called. Um, the next one is called. Uh, My mic is bad. Sue me. Why would you title your voicemail that? Why wouldn't you title it about what the what the voicemail is actually about? Okay, three, two, one, go. I cannot believe that you wrote off Mr. Boop's ending as an Evangelion reference. It is. The ending spells out the running theme of the comic, a critique of escapism. The characters return to their place of origin, leaving Alex headcanon as he accepts that reveling in fantasy can never be a replacement for the real world. It's beautiful, and it's a great ending. You've made me so mad that I'm going to go fuck my wife, Lisa Simpson, <laughs> but on the episode where she's an adult, so it's not weird. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, I, I did catch the whole, like, you know, that. Okay. I just I just okay. thought the Ava thing was an Ava <laughs> thing. Okay. It, it yeah. didn't need the um, Ava music, but uh, whatever. It doesn't here's, really matter. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. Um... I I disagree. I know this is a joke voicemail, but I'm going to respond to it as though it were serious, which is a bad habit that I have. Um, 
Uh, I I disagree that one of the that the theme that a theme of Betty of Mr. Boop is like that like reveling in fantasy is bad. That's like entirely an a seat an act four thing. Like there's no there's nothing about that in like the first three acts. That's just like a a sort of like last minute like twist at the end that gets added, and it's not relevant before that. So yeah, I suppose. I mean the joke seems to be that the the comic is is it looks like a four panel punchline comic and there's no punchline all the time it's just like the the author is so stupid that he's just drawing about having sex with Betty Boop all the time and he's so brazenly like unapologetically like making her love him over and over again so much that that is like meta funny it's the you author that the first, we're, we're laughing at. You mean at. in the early acts? Yeah, it's the it's the author, the idea that this guy's dra- drawing about his his life and how everything's so fucking <laughs> sick, even though it's clearly it's not quite as sick as he's trying to portray it is. Okay, okay, hold on. Are no you are lines. you saying uh, are are you sounds, saying uh... that like we're meant we're meant to read early Mister Boop? And read into it where like the punchline of the early ones like is the hypothetical author that is making the comic. Because like, yeah, because it's like, haha, some it's so weird that some person drew this comic. Okay, it's it's funny on multiple levels, but ultimately, like the, the, the punchline is about the author having drawn it like like ones where he's like. You're you're never gonna leave me, right? Ha <laughs> And she's like, "No, I'd, I'll never leave you. Like th- that's never gonna happen." Ha <laughs> Yes, I love you so much. In in fact, it's it's like I'm gonna cry with how much I love. Like it's there's there's mm. a, a, a elements of like unsureness in the way that he's like displaying affection and he's drawing. Like it's it's multi layered. So- like I think the soon, joke how seems soon to does be, that start to come in? Uh, quite soon. I think it's uh, even before Bugs Bunny appears hmm. how do I, fuck is it is it boop.net this is sounding a, a lot like yeah. uh tails got trolled a uh, little bit a little bit like that um it, superficially yeah like that. i mean sort of it's got some it's it's uh tails gets trolled with boop characteristics um fuck uh I mean, it's similar in that it is a story which pulls all these fucking dudes together into. Why can't I fucking find the website? I can't believe it's a little far down. When I when I click Mister Boop on Google, does the webtoon comes up first and the fucking TV tropes thing? Um. Oh God, it's been pushed so far. I just want to fucking look at the fucking website. Okay, it's MrBoop.net. Okay, I found it. Um. Okay, so the first okay, my wife is Betty Boop. Um Okay, even okay, even in the second it, the second comic is like I'll never get a divorce. Yeah, and it's then... just like it's the sort of the 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 sure the the the, the cocksuredness of like like ah oh, this is absolutely perfect, but the cracks are so obvious. Yeah. And he's still drawing about them. It's like it's it's funny for okay, that sort okay, of reason. Okay. Okay, but is the but is the message there that like I don't think no I don't think li- a message. living in living in a fantasy really is bad. Sure, okay, okay, okay. But what I'm saying is like I don't know if I don't know if you can say that like yeah the ending, which is sort of like the in which like the fantasy finally crumbles, is like oh yeah that's like the culmination of the theme of Mister Boop, which is about like you know how retreating into fantasy is bad and like this is this is the the result of it cuz i i don't I, I, like the tension like the tension in the early comics yeah is about this like this like total cocksuredness about like like being mi- married to mr the total like like the totally sincere way in which the character and i guess you one assumes also the author is like being mi- married to Mr. Boopshire is to Betty Boopshire is great, but then all this, yeah, all these cracks are showing in that facade. And I guess, 
I guess it sort of depends on if you imagine that, like, within the diegesis that the comic is being made by the fictional Alec, who, like, re- who is the one that you see in the videos, who is like, yes, I-, I invented the comic Mr. Boop. It's a comic about how I'm married to Betty Boop. I'm married to Betty Boop. You know, you know, I get- fuck. I feel like I've sort of been, like... I guess I, I read it as like, like it's a comedy, right? Like it's jokes and it's meant to be funny and it's being made by someone who thinks it's funny for this character to act this way. But I think, no, you're supposed to assume that that the that the Alec making these is not the real Alec, but the Alec that we see in the videos who is sort of subsumed by the fantasy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how early mm. on you're supposed to feel that because if you just read the comic and don't see the videos... I mean, yeah. Like, are you supposed to 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 read the comic and assume that the author doesn't know what's going on? Like, that they, they they are a Tales gets trolled or Sonichu author. Like, they they actually think this is like good because the whole website is like that. It's like a shitty website. Um, like nineties. I mean, bad. Uh, you know all that. All that. that I that, think. That, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word to describe but it sounds uh, think, a lot like my content i think that the, i think that this is a failure of the series because i think that the series assumes that you sort of are on board with thinking that the author is sincere right i guess i guess it's not because like he he make the the video spell it out pretty clearly that's like y- you should assume that Okay, I this. How, I, yeah, I don't how th- early is the is, is the first like video? That's what I, I want to know. Because I I because because fig- I feel like that, that, that video like, is what establishes it was it was tongue in cheek. Like I could tell pretty quickly. It wasn't like oh this is similar to Sonichu and that the person making it has no idea what's going on, and they don't realize yeah. how funny it is. But it's very clearly, obviously, like constructed to be yeah. the way it is. Yeah, yeah. But it's still funny. Like, uh, like uh, you can buy into the yeah. character once you know it's a character that's deliberately the author is one of the characters, and he's playing it in a video. That's like, oh wow, he's going to such lengths to tell this joke. Okay, I mean, at some point, at some point, the comic itself starts commenting on the fact that, like, Alec in the comic draws these comics and like talks about himself drawing the comics. But I feel like that's like act. No, no, that's that's even in book two. Even by book two, he's doing that. Damn. Okay. Okay. So I think these themes are kind of established a little earlier than maybe I thought. But. 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 Mm. Oh my god. Hmm. Is it, uh... Shit. Maybe. 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 Maybe this. Maybe this. Voicemail is right. Maybe I am the fool. Maybe I've been underestimating Mr. Boop this whole time. Maybe it is a a a, a unified thematic whole. Shit. I mean, it could be. Well, it I still I still feel I like should, the uh, presentation with the Ava. Like probably read it. Maybe I haven't watched Ava in a while. I forget whether the theme is exactly the same. I I still feel like the Ava reference doesn't add a lot. <sighs> this is a Mr. Boop podcast now. <laughs> I love uh, Mr. Boop. Everyone should read it. Uh, and it's I'm finished. So, and it's not it long. This. Everybody, everyone who's a cow who says, oh, Homestuck, One Piece, they're too long. I can't get into that. This is very short. So you have no excuse. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess my, my central question then is for about the ending being good. Like, is the the... The ending is like the crumbling of this like fantasy. So is are we meant to be thinking I don't know if we're meant to be thinking about the like I don't I don't know if we're supposed to think like oh this character has is like living in a fucking like unhealthy fantasy world. That I don't know. Or maybe we're supposed to, but I I didn't. I didn't start to think about that stuff until like way later. Maybe on I might fuck. I might go back and reread the whole thing, like knowing, like knowing how it ends and stuff. So I can just so I can really have like a really well formed opinion of like how thematically consistent is this. 
Well, I should. I uh, that's where. Yeah. I should read it too. So um, if I'm on here the next time, then I can contribute more to this uh, discussion. <laughs> uh, yeah. You should. <laughs> if you, yeah, you should. I mean, you have, I don't know why. I don't know why you wouldn't have already read it since it's the fucking breakout hit of 2020. Probably the best thing that happened in 2020 uh, was Mr. Boone. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot more confident about being married to you now. Which, if she leaves me, I'll threaten to kill myself. I'm just kidding. I know that's... This is later, right? Like, this is book three. Uh, I don't know. Like, this is know. after he comes out of the coma. This is, like, mm. number 33. So... Well, this is not uh, the Mrs. Boop that I, w- I remember. Now, this is book one. Apparently. What? Yeah, this is only p- number 33. fascinating okay all right enough enough boop talk enough boop talk uh it's time for ac- it's time for boop action when you when you um, step on a goomba that's a boop right well the sound it, it makes is it? no it's a it's a it's a it's a yeah boop. i guess it's, it's a that's foot closer. Stone. it's a uh next one next one is called twitter Warning, funny joke. Okay, three, two, one, go. Uh, you guys are all like, I don't like Twitter, but uh, have you ever tried shitter? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I well, haven't. He, he was right, uh, it was pretty funny. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for the voicemail. Okay, okay, next one. Hmm, next one is called An Asian Query. So, okay. Three, two, one, go. How long is a Chinese name? Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. (laughs) It's just a statement. Uh, It's not even... Well, he said it was a query, so... Yeah, he, it was a, it was a it was a facade. It was a it was a one two punch. How long I need to get has uh, this been going on? I need to get your voicemail people to write one of my videos. How long has been going on? Dude, that should be a bonus episode where people like send in uh what literally what we say and we just read it. We just read the script. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what would that would it would become just like just like two people would be the ones that ended up writing like most of it, you know. It would be like a ha- a handful of people might send like little like little snippets, and then like two people would be like haha, and they'd write an entire script, and it would be horrible. It'd be a nightmare. No, ter- uh... no. Unlike all of our other uh, uh, bonus episodes, that would just make for terrible content. So. <laughs> It's unacceptable. I, did, uh, I did kind of seriously consider doing that idea, having somebody script one of my videos for me and I read it. But uh, I think that's not a very good idea. Yeah, but would you outsource that to just a, a gang of hooligans? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. Next one is called Andwu Hussey Uwu. Uh, three, two, one, go. There seems to be some confusion about this. Homestuck is my intellectual property and mine alone. All of my head cannons are 100% legitimate, whereas yours are waffably fake. There is no room for interpretation whatsoever in Homestuck, not even a little bit. To claim otherwise is heresy and also in violation of my legal rights as an artist. I hope this clears things up. Oh, well. Thanks, Hussey. I didn't know you were such a fascist. Uh, uh yeah. This, uh... Oh, that reminds me. Um, last time there was that that talk. I don't know if, actually we, if we talked about it on the show, but like the the think you brought it up and the the Hussey maybe being the problem behind yeah, the yeah, yeah. odd gentleman situation. I read that whole thread. Oh god, and can you summarize for me? I can uh, the summary is that uh it's likely 
that it could be both of their fault and it's not just they fucked him over like he he uh implied in the thing that he leaked cuz uh, the 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 non-disclosure agreement for the whatever means that nobody can talk about it but he did leak something to someone who then made a post about it which is where everybody heard about it and then that was taken off but of course once it's out there it's out there um yeah. but the odd gentleman haven't said anything on their end and it was it was this guy basically going through you know somebody gave him a tip off that hussy may have been the problem he took all of the statements and he cross-referenced it by talking to people involved uh seeing what was absolutely false and none of it was absolutely false nothing could be disproven which was uh curious and things seemed to line up very very neatly um but the i think the 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 main thing that seems pretty likely is the odd gentleman were uh they were waiting around for Hussey to create the document that they could like the 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 bible the the pitch bible the the thing of this is what the game has to be please make it um they were waiting for him to write a lot of stuff to to make that so that they could get started on developing the game and um he took a really long time with that and in the interim they were like okay we need to be making something so they started work on a different project which was the king's quest thing with the mm-hmm. idea that since that's also a point and click they can use what they build with that for the hive swap thing later um but when hussy was ready he went to the odd gentleman all allegedly by the way that i'm saying um don't actually have any proof of all this uh but the idea is he well, who then needs proof we huh? can just keep we can just keep repeating it as though it's true, and then it will be. Well, I I, I want people to read the 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 big post because yeah. it's quite extensive sure. and it goes into a lot more detail than I'm going into. So don't get the wrong impression. But this is what I've gleaned from it: is it's likely that they were working on King's Quest because they had to wait for a while. Hussey did finally get him the thing, but by that point they were already working on a different game, and they said okay, we have to finish this first because of contracts and stuff. We'll get to Hive Swap afterwards. And Hussey was, like, furious, and he, like, cancelled the whole thing and then set about making, like, having his game be made in-house with his own studio. And then everything changed. Uh, Sounds like uh, yeah. some hot goss. That makes... I mean... If if we only ever heard Hussey's side of it before, then I guess it's it's not surprising yeah. that the takeaway of it was it's their fault. Yeah, I, yeah there was lots yeah, of little sure. bits where he's like making people believe that they were so unreasonable. But like, the more I think about it, and the more I read about this thing, I'm like, what are the chances that this company of people are all yeah. fucking assholes, and uh, Andrew Hussey just happens to be like. Let- yeah, Perfect. and they literally just like took they literally just like let someone pay them a ton of money to make a game and then just didn't make it. Like that doesn't seem like the kind of thing you can get away with. Yeah, and then uh, the fact that there's a non-disclosure uh, agreement with a with a settlement yeah. to like I don't know. It's it's fishy, which is why it's worth looking into and yeah. you know, like I said, nothing is like absolutely provable, but nothing that this this tip off suggested is like f- like false necessarily like it's mm-hmm. not you can't prove that it isn't true i guess that's the the, the curious thing about it um we, we should have a link to that in the description well the the truth is usually somewhere in the middle with uh, most things that's why yeah, you got to have that's why you got to have JK Rowling on the BBC to explain why trans people are a menace to society versus no. anyone else that says something else. By the way, that I hear both all sides of, that, of the argument. All of that said about Andrew, I don't necessarily yeah. think it makes him a, like a demon devil man. It just it's like Yeah. Like business is like complex and if he was handling it yeah. badly, I mean, whatever. Yeah. It sucks. Well, Hive swap yeah. is like delayed by millions of years. But uh you I don't know. I still like what he's made, generally speaking. You'd like to, you think you'd chalk it up probably more to incompetence? Definitely more to than, incompetence. Than malice, yeah, sure. That makes sense. Like, like his, 
like yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what he's like as a person too much, aside from his yeah. media that he's made, which is like assuming you know what a YouTuber's like from watching videos of them. Well, yeah. uh, nobody's perfect, not even Adolf Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes back to Hitler. Uh, okay, okay. Next one is called Rejected Application Follow-Up. Three, two, oh, one, no. go. Yo, hey, yeah. Ben, it's that guy who applied to be a guest. Yeah. Uh, I just figured, no hard feelings, you know? I just fig- <laughs> I just saw that guy who commissioned the Art of the Wonder Bread. That was his only qualification, so I figured just about anybody had a shot. You don't want to be on for the same reason as that guy. <laughs> yeah. Fucker Wonder Bread guy. That guy's on because he's, like, so fucking he, embarrassing. He's, he's <laughs> that like, it's like a story. Um, He's a curiosity. I think it's yeah. it's not that it, it you need like high. It's not that he's like oh he fucking earned he earned his fucking place. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's literally just that we've heard of him and that his shtick is f- comical. Um, you take anyway, uh, you, you take applications yes. for guest positions now. No, no. this this guy is sent Definitely in an application not. assuming that it would help. It didn't. Oh, that's <laughs> pretty story funny. Short, it didn't. No hard, no hard feelings. No hard though. feelings. I'm uh, glad well, he says well, that. Well, well, maybe uh, some. Maybe we can. <laughs> yeah, actually, maybe we hate him. <laughs> maybe, maybe a few would be fine. Uh, okay, next one. Oh God, next one is called um, "That Dog Is Sexy." So pucker up, pupper. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Three, three, two, one, go. Konnichiwa. Okay, cool. Okay. Samurai sama must confess. Samurai roboto notoriel. Uh... Just to samurai sama do siri voice. <laughs> Just to benosento san. What a twist. For, for epic troll. <laughs> and uh, one more bigger confession. Okay. Oh no. Samurai sama notoriru samurai. What? No. Samurai sama never finish you samurai courage. <laughs> so just to regular man with the katana and the samurai dream. Can no samurai sama not dream? But a samurai can, but a mano can't. Dogan san. He said. Be samurai, kamo from o hato, but o beno san breaku samurai samo hato. That why siko revenge on no beno sento san. Oh, and also you still scroll so yeah. fuck are you okay. for that? Okay. Okay. Time almost up, so until next time. Sayonara. Damn. <laughs> the pathos. So he's not even a real yep. samurai. He's been a fraud. You know. He he he. You know. I had a feeling. He's just. He's just. Uh. He's just too too honorable. A, a real re- samurai. A real samurai. Don't give a fuck. A real samurai would slice you know, your he's... head off in one go. But this guy keeps asking politely. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's it's true. like he's uh he's you know he he thinks he's got something to prove and he does uh, uh fuck fuck are you uh uh <laughs> next okay next one <laughs> damn now we know <laughs> just learning just learning so much okay the next one is called uh the ultimate bet- betrayer three two one go. Hey, Ben, you know what makes me a rage? Um, I just uh, subscribed to the Pocastinators Patreon. No! $5 a month here. Oh, God. And I get the bonus episodes. I get all of them. They're great. I'm listening to them. No. I'm listening to them no, on no, YouTube. please, no. It's not the ideal audio player. Uh, True. But you know what? I- I'll-, I'll accept it, okay? So the bonus episodes, unlisted YouTube videos, and what do I hear? FUCKING ADVERTISEMENTS! No. Okay, maybe. But it's not my fault. 
Is the video thing still going? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Wait, what was that last? But he said he said something at the very end. Uh, why? Why is it my fault? Um, if there's ads on the, if there's ads on the, okay. First of all, there there should really be MP3s. Are there not MP3s of the bonus episodes? I they're supposed I, to be. The, yeah, there definitely should, should be. If there isn't, so we, we should we should we should up we should update we should that. do that. Um, thank you for, for uh, mentioning it. The ones on the okay, the ones on YouTube. Okay, if there are ads on them, I have personally removed ads from a lot of oh. them. If there are some on the new ones, no, YouTube you might know, have just automatically put some. No, in. No, no, no. YouTube now they just put ads no matter what. It's it's only whether uh, you, like you having the um the uh the you need a certain amount of subscribers to get monetization. You can turn monetization on and off, but ads are like always on. They've changed their their Christ. how that works. So we That's definitely so cool. definitely sucks, and we should make. I thought yeah, they were MP3s. MP3s. There yeah. were there were of the there are of the old ones. Maybe whoever has been supposed to do that has not been keeping up with it. But uh, okay. Well, I guess uh, you're uh, gonna have to use ad blocker. I mean, it's not like. I mean, it's not like we make any money from ads on the bonus episodes. It's not like I would put them on purpose because we would we must have made like less than a dollar on all views across all bonus episodes if that were the case. Um, so, you know, nobody wants that. <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. True. Uh, YouTube betrayed us. Keep keep your remember who your true enemies are. OK, next one is called. Um, setting the record straight for ghost stories. Three, two, one, go. I gotta set the record straight about ghost stories being a shitty anime made into a gag dub because that's not entirely true. It was based off a book series, basically like anime goosebumps, and was decently popular in Japan. It just wasn't amazing. The main problem was that yokai watch wasn't invented yet, so American didn't know what a yokai was. And instead of trying to translate everything... They just kind of went whatever, so we got the masterpiece that the English dub is today. I don't know okay. what this is referring to. Okay, um, we're, I heard, uh, I've heard you know of, the uh, anime ghost, ghost stories. stories. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, it's long story short, it has it has one of those gag dubs in English. Like the dub is not faithful; it's just like deliberately stupid. Um. Oh. And okay. Yeah. And um, okay, so we said it must have just been a shitty anime that got a dub, and I guess it's no. The answer is no. It wasn't necessarily shitty. It just was not localizable, so they didn't like try and do a faithful localization. Okay, I mean, whatever. I don't care. I don't care if Ghost Stories was a good anime or not. Well, I guess that's why uh, you should always go subs over dubs, right? Um, no, because the fucking <laughs> I I'm not gonna. If it were, if it had been dubbed faithfully, it would have no value to me or to anyone. I, I think. Well, man, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I mean, I wouldn't care about it if it were just if if it were just normal. I like that it's weird shit and schlock and and goofy ass bullshit. Um. Okay. Next one is called. Wait a minute. Which one did I just? Yeah. Okay. Next one is called Monstrous Usurper. Three, two, one, go. Do you know who Henry J. Waternus is? No. Henry J. Waternus is the rightful CEO of Monsters Incorporated. During the movie, Sullivan steals the company and becomes the new CEO. He just seizes the power. That's not right. What the, fu what the fuck? Uh, he's talking about Monsters, Inc. Yeah, but why? Um, I guess the transfer of power was like he kills, he just banishes the the Spider Man by pushing him in the door, and it becomes the CEO. I mean, I assumed he was like, like everyone thought he was the coolest guy. Let's vote for him to be the new guy. You don't, you don't vote. You don't vote. I don't for think CEOs. He, well, I don't know how it worked. Wait, I just I never down. thought. I never thought it was like. Oh, Sullivan just is the strongest, so he rises to the top, and he's now in charge. Who who cares? Why are we even talking? <laughs> why are we talking isn't, about uh, Monsters Incorporated? Isn't that what uh, isn't that what you did with the PCP, Ben? 
Yes, it's it's no. it's the exact same. It's the exact same. No, thing. it became the CEO. No, 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 I'm the king. I'm not Mike Wazowski in this situation. That can't be the. That cannot be the case. I just. What is the? <laughs> what is what is the? Is always, it, is, uh, so so this guy's asking: Is it is it fucked up that uh, Sullivan like killed the CEO and took over the company? Uh, I guess. I didn't I bet even he was know a bad happened. CEO. Never... And Sullivan's a good CEO, so it's all fine. Oh, There's no the way to way. improve. The Aren't only way. All, uh... The only way to, to beat a bad CEO is with a good CEO. That's true. I thought all Somebody's CEOs are bad, it. though. No, not if they're nice. <laughs> not if they. Not if uh... they are, have like fun, a sense of humor, and post uh, things on Twitter that are very funny. It's oh, like good, uh, Reggie. It's good when. It's good when one guy owns everything. Honestly, Reggie that's the way it fees. should be. Reggie fees or something, whatever. Fees a me. Fees a fees a me. Fees a me. Okay. Reggie's, I, Reggie's I li- very nice and lovable. Um, as a spokesperson, he's very good. I don't really know. Aside, he's it he was head of Nintendo of America, which means Wait. he had a he had a like in charge of localization and branding and marketing and how everything made in Japan would work in. Western countries. So, uh. Epic. Yeah. Literally. literally. That's all right. That's all right. Cause I like I him. Cause he's cool. Reg- Reggie seems fine. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure he's great. I'm sure he's real fucking. I'm sure he's a real freak in the sheets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is called, uh, what is it? Next one is called The Speak Pipe Background Thing Is Making Me Feel Sick. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hey, fuckheads. Get the Mr. Boop guy on the podcast. Get the Mr. Boop guy on the podcast? Um, hmm. You could try. I mean, I'd like, that would be pretty good. I don't feel Wait. like there's any guarantee that he would come on. You may as well. Get get everyone on the podcast. We we should get uh, we should get this guy. I've been hearing a lot about this guy, uh, Joseph Robinette Biden. Maybe we could get him on the podcast. Hmm. Maybe we could get uh maybe we could get uh the uh, maybe we could get the uh, Pendleton Ward. Seems like a real up and comer. Um maybe we could get the uh, Gary Gygax. I hear he's done some cool stuff in the field of gaming. We're all a bunch of big gamers here, so maybe we should ask that guy. Uh mm, we should get Rayman limit, on the boys. podcast. We should get Rayman. Why isn't Rayman? <laughs> of course, it's everybody a loves Rayman. Fit. It's a perfect bet for the PCP. Oh my god. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. Get Mister Get Mister Boop on the podcast. Okay, sure thing. Um, oh fuck. Uh, the next one is called. Uh, what even is the next one called? The next one is called. Pancakes, uh, wee wee or pee pee. <laughs> Three, Great two, name. one, go. I put my wee wee into your pee pee. Shut up. I put my pee pee into your. Shut wee-wee. the fuck up. Ah! You piece of shit. Is you can't do voice both jail? of those at the same time. You can do Is one or the other. Voice jail yet? But that was uh, oh, that was some quality. This guy should be this should be in voice jail if he's not already. Um, all right, next one is called uh, the the most paramount of reminders. Three, two, one, go. I'm calling you out, Ben Saint. Yeah. Catch up on One Piece, okay? Thanks. You're right. That's true. How can but he call just... you out if you don't? If he doesn't even have a phone. It just keeps getting longer. It just keeps getting longer and longer, and there's more yeah, of it like to catch my up on. It just like when my I dick read when it. I see when I see pretty Corona. Soon, uh, pretty soon it's uh, going to be so long. It's going to have a two piece. When I, I just how am I how am I how can I possibly stay current with One Piece when new chapters just keep coming out? Like it's it's fucked up. It doesn't make any sense. I don't I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I'll read Game of Thrones once it's finished. Yeah, that's like trying to get up to date on Penny Arcade. Anyone remember Penny oh. Arcade? Yeah, sure, sure. But why would you ever want to be current? Oh, God, why would you ever do that? 
Penny you know, Arcade's it's so, funny so because fucking bad. When, when I first started reading Penny Arcade, it was back when they weren't around uh, long enough to have too many uh, issues. So I actually went back and read all the issues they, they published, and I, I actually did issue, get up to date. You mean like date. comics, right? Yeah, it's comics. But obviously yeah, now yeah. That, that would be basically impossible. There's just too many. I mean, they put know, one out like three times a week, right? Um, maybe I don't remember uh, the schedule anymore. All God, right, so I think, unfunny. They're I think so I'm unfunny. Pr- I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but is Penny Arcade Control Alt Delete, or is that completely different? <laughs> no, the, uh, do you they're different. Do you thought they were the same thing. I thought they were the same thing in my head when I hear Penny Arcade. Why I would see they be the that, same I thing? Why would they? Why would they be the same thing when they have our two different names? I don't know. Penny Arcade was the the, the uh, Control Alt Delete is a um, subsidiary of Penny Arcade. I don't fucking no, know. No, no, yeah, they're Arcade, they're literally yeah. bitter rivals. They're bitter rivals. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe that's why I've, rivals, I, I've associated the two they, of them. Then yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people associate the two. Mostly, it's to say like, oh, Control Alt Delete is trash. Uh, Penny Arcade is like that, but good. But like, it's really not. Like Penny Arcade is also trash it's maybe slightly see. less trash but like but penny arcade uh, but I it's think just it it's just been in, more successful in, um, penny arcade started in 96 i think and uh control delete started in the 2000s maybe early 2000s wow this no. is exactly the same really? as control delete it's not the same i mean it's <laughs> I'm, bad I'm, and diff- I'm different i'm looking ways. at it this is this is more sweet bro and hella jeff than <sighs> than that I mean, that's true. That's true. Well, I, I think probably I, I, it was inspired I, by I, Penny Arcade. I don't yeah. know how I've never seen these characters. I think I've seen the guy with the brownish hair. Uh, nowadays, everybody associates Control Delete with the miscarriage comic. Yes. Meme. Loss. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Penny Arcade is is like the worst thing that Penny Arcade does. I've said this before, but like I like a lot of their like other like side projects that they've done over the years. The comic is like unreadable. It's I don't understand why they keep doing it. I don't know anyone who likes it. Um, I don't know why anyone would. It's a it's well, a nightmare. One thing that always <laughs> uh, annoyed me about their comic is that um, a lot of times you don't get the joke unless you read Tycho's. Uh, blog post about it yeah so 100%, you read the comic 100% and you just be true. like uh i have no idea what they're talking about you know okay a cu- couple things first of all gabe's art style has like melted over the years and like i'm fine with him being more expressive but like it's really it's gotten really weird looking like it just looks weird nowadays um and yeah the comic okay i used to i've listened to every single episode of the um down of the DLC podcast, which is the podcast that they would record like as they were writing the comic. And it's literally it's them like riffing as they come up with the comic. And I love that podcast. It's great. The comics are dog shit. Not didn't a they, single uh, one has ever been funny. <laughs> didn't they do videos of that podcast or something? There remember, were video um, yeah, there were some video episodes of I most of them watching were not. the videos and uh, those are pretty good. I mean, I've watched, I've, I've watched a ton of like side of like Penny Arcade side content and like Penny Arcade adjacent stuff. Like I watched, um, like I've, I've, I've watched, I've listened to a lot of their old like um D and D uh uh groups and stuff, like the C team mostly. And uh, I mean, I went to, I went to PAX that one year, which is pretty great. Um, what was that other? Th- oh yeah, and the strip search. Strip search was was the best thing they ever did, and they never did it again because they're hacks, because they're cowards. Wait, uh, that's um, the, the reality TV comic thing, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Strip yeah. search. I remember it watching so that. It was really, it was really good. I mean, it was kind, it was kind of crap actually, but it was kind of crap in a way that I liked and appreciated. Well, uh, it's uh, <laughs> reality TV. What can you expect? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Um, I, I think. Control or Delete is better than Penny Arcade just because it has loss, and Penny Arcade doesn't doesn't have anything. The, I'm, the looking, closest, I'm looking around. The it's closest just gamer thing, things. The closest thing that Penny Arcade has to loss was the Dick Wolves comic, which caused like a, in hindsight, like very minor and nobody actually gave a shit sort of like 
political correctness. Oh yeah, I remember that. Scandal. Um but like at the time it seemed like a big deal, but like nobody cares anymore. And it's and it's honestly not even that funny and it's like uh, not even worth explaining. Penny Arcade is like <laughs> um Penny Arcade is like the gaming equivalent of a Garfield comic, I think. I I think I think you're giving it too much credit because it's not just like a it, Penny Arcade is not something that is just like a simple like you know relatable little like gag about something that's like oh haha I hate Mondays oh haha lasagna no it's actually it's hyper specific about like whatever is like the fucking gaming news du jour of the week or whatever that like like you said you have to fucking read the text post that goes along with it and even then it's still not funny it's just like oh okay I guess I get what they were trying to say. And the other thing about it is that like half of them are not even about like being gamers anymore. Not that this is necessarily bad, but it's not really like even a gaming webcomic entirely. It's a lot of it is just about like being dads, which is fine. Um, but I don't know. It's not. Well, it's, I never, it's, um, it's weird. I, I honestly never was that big of a fan of the comic. I mostly went to the website to read uh, Tycho's blog posts. Yeah. He was that's, a big that's inspiration to me as a writer um back in the day. What are they what are they what are they doing now? Are they just like streaming shit on Twitch? Uh I don't know. Seems uh, like that's most of what they do nowadays. Like um Jerry has the um Jerry has like a a, a Twitch show about like beer brewing or something. <laughs> And then they have like a and d group that also drinks the beer that they brew. And they have a couple of like other side. I think C, I assume C team is still going. I assume it's, the comic is still going. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course the comic is still going. The comic will go forever, even though it's like, no, even though nobody wants it, just, just on, on inertia, it will continue until we're all dead. <laughs> um, man, Penny Arcade is such a fucking bizarre, you know, Honestly, lecture idea is like the Penny Arcade diaspora because it has like it spawned so many like weird things that have just like spiraled out into his whole little universe. Like the whole ch the whole child's play thing is like a, it's like a big or was like a really big thing for a while. Um, yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah, I, mean, I, th I assume it still goes on. But what, um, uh, what always surprised me about Penny Arcade is uh, how it got so popular that they started their own gaming convention. And now it's like yeah. one of the most popular gaming conventions, almost it's, up there I with mean, E3. It's it's wild, and like the comic did not deserve any of this. like it, like it's not good enough. It's just it's just doesn't deserve all of this shit that like was created off the back of this shitty gamer webcomic. But I guess because the like the only alternative was Control Alt Delete, which people hated more. Like <laughs> it had to be these guys, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, man! Nice Found image, image. Re resolution. I I nice, can't find a bigger one. Nice image resolution you got there. God, God. All right. This this has um that guy with the glasses energy. This whole thing. That comic or like the comic? No, no, in no. The the yeah the things I'm looking at all of, all of these panels and things are just sort of like early internet but like would never thrive today sort of feeling yeah i think i mean i mean that's that's where it came from and like they have like to their credit like they have used this platform to like delve into all kinds of other weird shit like uh, like uh, side comics and like you know they've made like you know P R uh, uh, pen and paper RPG modules and they've done like Twitch shows and they started conventions and they did all these other projects and they did all this other fucking shit and like that's all well and good and I think that's pretty cool it's just really funny that like the the content that spawned it all is like totally unworthy of any of it it's dog I think maybe, shit um, <laughs> I think maybe the only reason they got popular is because they were one of the first ones probably yeah that's, of course yeah that's usually how it is yeah of course God, and was, I was, was fucking... one of the first uh, retro review websites, and I never got popular. So it was it was the fucking wild west back then. The 
Oh god, the trenches is still going? I think I remember what that is, uh, but I forgot. I've, I remember, I've but I forgot. It. I just... Who, who reads the trenches? Who is this for? Christ. Hon honestly, when I see... This, like, gives me a sort of, like, terror. Like, I'm, ima I'm imagining that there's, like, there's some contingent of people out there who do, who actually read Penny Arcade for the comics, keep up with the comics, read fucking The Trenches, read, um, um, what's the other one that, uh, I don't know. Uh, VG Cat? Like, I'm, I'm just thinking of, like, other things that have, like, I don't know, anything else that fucking, like, Scott Kurtz does, you know, and then, like, I get, it, I get like, the heebie-jeebies when I think, it's, it's almost like I'm staring, like, into, like, the deep, like the ocean, and it's like some I like I think I just uh, for some it's, people it's Lovecraft, it's Lovecraftian, it's lit, it feels Lovecraftian that there's like a whole, there's a whole, there must, there must the existence, the continued existence of the trenches implies to me that there is an entire universe of like people and culture out there that is totally alien to me, who I can never understand, and they will never understand me, and I'm afraid of them. I think it's just uh, for some <sighs> people, it just uh, becomes a tradition, you know, you just yeah. Don't stop. That's true. I guess that's true. I guess that's true, and I have done that before. I have, like, read stuff, like, just out of tradition, just, like... But I have I have long since abandoned all such traditions. I don't keep up with anything anymore. Uh, yeah, I can't same. relate to anyone that does. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, should we move on to the next voicemail? <laughs> yeah, how many do we have left? Uh, it's not that many. Uh, we have, um, what was that? That one was, um, one, two, three, four. We have seven left. Okay. So let's, let's Oh go. my. Okay. Lol. Yeah, the, uh, well, hopefully uh, they're okay. all that short was, ones. That was the most paramount of reminders. So the next one is called, wait, um, the next one is called, uh, last year on the PCP. Three, two, one, go. Oh, and while I'm here, apologies for the ass phone mic quality. I'm in my bed. Didn't feel like getting up. I don't also, care. Also, another thing. You guys uh, still don't have an about section on your channel. It still says under construction. Don't know if you guys want to do anything about that, but I thought it would be a good reminder to us all that the channels got hacked about a year ago. Um, it didn't oh. used to say under construction. I know that it says under construction. I think like I asked I Nate did. about that at some point, and he said that no, that wasn't because of the hack. But I'm not sure. Maybe it is. I don't remember what was on there before. I don't really look at the channel itself, yeah. the about page. But I guess we could fill it in with like, PCP is a thing. Under construction it is like a pretty cringe thing for it to say, honestly. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that websites from 2001 would have on their front page. Was it was it a year ago that it got hacked? Was it that long? Uh, I think so. Hmm. Wow. I'm trying to think of the the situation because we got the channel back, or like some of the channels back. So it was like not all at once that it was resolved. And Garlic yeah, House I mean, still I, haven't. Yeah. Uh, he still hasn't paid for this uh, injustice, has he? Brad. Yeah, Brad Garlic yeah, we'll, House. We'll We'll take we'll take him to court. He's 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 being litigated as we speak. Um, okay. Next one is called "Cute Anime Girl." Three, two, one, go. Nico, Nico, ni, baka. Gotcha. Senpai. That's what they sound like. Baka. Kawaii. Yep. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Sick. I like Very this one robust. because uh, it was short. Yeah. We count our blessings. Okay. Next one is called Tommy J. Ben's Physics Sim Game Thing. It's not my game. It's called Noita. Other people play it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Hey, it's Tommy J. So uh, the game that Ben is referring to, the like, browser game with the 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 physics yes, sim it's, 
is called a uh, powder game. Oh, uh, oh, it is on the Dan Ball website, and there's also a mobile version. I highly recommend it because it's fucking free and right. uh, it's great to pass time. If you're like what what I used it for is I would be sitting. I think there are in other college lecture. There are variant versions that other people still and listen to somebody talk, even if I am paying attention to what they're saying. So I would just pull out my phone or my laptop because you can do that in college, and I would just set up some metal bowls and put water that would infinitely respawn at the top and just watch the water eat through the metal bowls by rusting them. And that's just watch that the whole time. And, uh, and I barely passed my classes that semester. Long. So maybe I'm not as good at multitasking as I thought. Okay. But, uh, I had fun, I guess. <sighs> This is not this is not the one I was thinking of. I have seen others that are different this, from this one. This is fun. I'm playing it right now. Yeah, me too. I just I just put some oil on the floor and then shot a laser into it and it's like it's making all this weird shit happen. That's cool. Whoa, bird. Can Wait, a bird. Magma. Oh shit, magma on ice. What's going on? Wait, happen? you can uh, you can just pull okay. your phone out in college in class? Why didn't anyone tell me about that? Okay, bird is just like bird is really weird. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'll make a glass enclosure and just fill it with bird. And then I'll just put a torch in the bird. No no no. I'll put a bomb. Wait, nothing's happening. I'll put cloud? No. Thunder. What's nothing's 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 going on. Um okay, magma. What is... Ah, uh, dude, wind with cloud makes it all sort of do stuff. Wait, like, nothing is nothing is working now. Like, nothing that I put down is, is happening. Maybe you crashed maybe I, like, it. Over... Maybe I overloaded the... Maybe there's, like, a pixel limit. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Um, okay, S-ball. Oh, it's super bouncy ball. Oh, wow, look at it go! Oh, can look you, at that. Uh, can you actually learn physics with this? No, <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Oh, oh, dude, put some gas and then uh, light it on fire. Mm. There, there's another one that is like a bigger screen, and it's like it's got materials in it that are like, you know, uranium and like plutonium, and you can even you like electrons and pro positrons and like you know uh, neutrons and stuff and, and neutrinos and uh, and there's like mystery materials that will do like weird like rainbow explosions and stuff if you combine them in certain ways. Uh, oh, firework! Oh, you put oh you put down some firework and then drop some magma on it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. Oh, the pump is uh, pretty cool. It drags things along its thing okay now we're just playing a video game yeah now we're yeah yeah yeah, yeah let's okay. this has become a, a let's play okay i th yeah i think it i think it just um there's like a limit for how many things you can put on the screen and it eventually just like stops you from putting more so that explains uh everything okay yeah yeah enough enough but anyway uh what was it called powder game yeah powder game that's one of them anyway. Um, next one is called oh, Tommy J. Ben's Physics Sim Game Thing PS. Uh, wait, there we go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Forgot to mention, uh, Powder Game is the browser version is not in Flash. It works some other way, so it still works. It is not broken, even though Flash has died kind of based 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 it works in okay. some other mysterious manner uh H maybe it's html maybe it's html uh next one is called gaslighting more like gaslighting but de gas means fart now uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh that's, there uh, it that's is a good one. okay three two one go why is it called gaslighting? Like, I, I know what it means, and I see it all the time, but, like, I have to manually reach into my brain to find the definition every single time I see it, just because, like, 
I it, the name and that definition. I think don't it's I think it's from like a movie. In my head, because like, what is why is it what's does have is it have some analogy with like physical using gas no to light something? How am I supposed to know how that works? I'm an e boy in the e age. The, we need a new gas lighting. That is just the same thing, but with a different name for the new generation. Sending this voicemail was a really roundabout way to just Google it. But uh, from Wikipedia, the term originated from the British play Gaslight, 1938, performed as Angel Street in the United States and its 1940 and 1944 film adaptations. Um, Term originates in the systemic psychological... Uh, manipulation of a victim by her husband in Patrick Hamilton's play Gaslight. In the story, the husband attempts to convince his wife and others that she is insane. The play's title alludes to how the abusive husband slowly dims the gas lights in their home while pretending nothing has changed. Okay. So in the that's in the a, play... This is a late that's, epic reference. Oh, that's, yeah, that's in the, very in the, oddly specific. In the play, he tries to convince her she's crazy by doing some weird shit with the lights. And so that's where the play gets its name from, and the term gets its name from the play. So, there you go. So the, the term uh, references a play that nobody has seen in modern modern times. Probably more people know it from the term. Probably by a wide margin, I would think. Oh, but that's okay. Sometimes things are just like that. Uh, okay, next, uh, I'm stretching, okay, next voicemail is called, um, Tommy J, Ben's Crush, three, two, one, go. Dude, I hope I'm not the only one who caught this, uh, Ben is, like, trying to explain all these stupid little, like, running <laughs> voicemail gags and stuff like that to fucking this double cast person, uh-huh. Ben, you're just like me. You're the cute one now, Ben. I caught you. You're so excited. So excited to that? explain all this dumb shit to this guest. What does that mean? I caught you. What does that mean? How does it does feel, it Ben? You're the cute one now. What does it mean? What does it mean? I think I think they're they're saying they caught you out um being excited to to like share something with someone and that's cute. I just, I just didn't want Minerva. I don't know to whether they mean in context. like a flirty way or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, okay. If it's cute that I'm like trying to, that I'm like explaining something that I'm like interested in, I guess that would make sense. But this voicemail is called Ben's Crush. Who's like my crush? crush? In double cast, I guess. I don't think so. Maybe it's I crushed, didn't... as in you were crushed. <laughs> you think you think he crushed me with this voicemail? Yeah, he crushed you with uh, facts and logic. Hmm. Hey, fuck fuck you, Tommy J. I'm not the cute one. I'm not the cute one. <laughs> I am That's like the second voice that I've been crushed by facts and logic a couple times in these. Uh but this is the last one, by the way. This is uh the last voicemail we is called Tommy J, why is education a cable package? Um, okay, three, two, one, go. Why is college a cable package? Why do I have to take fucking art classes and history and shit? I mean, the classes didn't suck or anything, but they weren't. I wouldn't have bought them on their own because I can mm. just look at the internet and learn things. Like... I mean, the history class it took is kind of cool. I read a bunch of fucking primary sources, which I never did in high school. That's, like, awful that the only primary source you read in high school history class is, like, the Constitution and the Declaration and maybe the Gettysburg Address, and that's, like, it. Like, they talked about fucking Magna Carta and shit all the time in high school. I don't know a single word of that thing. That's kind of bad. Why is education a cable package? Why do I have to um, buy all of this shit that I do not want? Wait. I want the fucking database classes and the fucking software practice and uh, operating systems. I do not want fucking um, music theory. 
The music theory class is fine too, but I would not have fucking paid for it on its own. Um, and then, and then communications and gender still wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, but it just, it's just why, why? Okay. First off, I feel like you went a little off the rails there. First, you're like, why is it a cable package? Why do I have to get all this other stuff? And then you're like, oh, but they didn't teach me about the Magna Carta. Well, so, I mean, sounds like you, sounds like you want your education to be broader. But ignore, ignoring that, um, okay, like, without, without defending, like, the business model of private universities too hard, I, I will defend, like, okay, if you just want to understand, like, operating systems and databases... I feel like there are like degrees and certifications. You could get like an associate's degree or or some kind of certification course for that. Uh, you can a, go to a if, career school. They have schools for that. Yeah. If if you're if you're um if you're going to college for your bachelor's degree, like that is a like yeah, you have a a like a focus, you have a major or whatever. Um but like the point of a liberal arts education is not just, I mean, you know, just despite what people say, right? I, I know some people are like, oh, you know, fucking, oh, this fucking uh, bullshit liberal arts stuff, like, oh, gender studies, like, pfft, whatever. You know, despite all that, like, the point of a liberal arts education, like a, a, a bachelor's degree, is to, like, create, like, a well-educated population and to give you, like, a broad education. Like, the point is to make you a well-educated person in general, not just to prepare you for the workforce. And uh, well, I, know that, you, uh, I know that well it's kind rounded. of fucked up. And, hmm? To make you well-rounded, uh, I think is what you mean. Yeah. I know that it's kind of fucked up because, like, even just for the purpose of getting a job, you're expected to have this, like, broad education, this bachelor's degree or whatever that includes all this, like, tertiary liberal arts stuff. And, like, yeah, I agree that that's fucked up. But like, in th- in theory, that's what the purpose of a degree like that is, and so I, I understand it. Uh, I I it's a it's a weird it's a weird sort of the wires get get crossed there where like jobs jobs require this like jobs expect this like broad and non specific education, and therefore and therefore job seekers get this broad education but then people are like oh this education is too broad because we don't need it to get a job but like it wasn't meant to be for the job in the first place but it like became that due to like cultural expectation and the fucking private university business model i don't know i think uh like, most of college is just a scam to get you pay money but um well the sure weird thing is uh because you mentioned private universities, but the weird thing is even public universities feel like they're just trying to scam you into getting your money a lot of the time. I mean, yeah. Sh- y- y- okay, yes. Like you have to spend hundreds of dollars on books that don't shouldn't cost that much and then spend like $150 on a calculator from Texas Instruments because that's the only calculator that your math class is going to accept mm-hmm. i mean true uh yeah i'm not trying to i'm not trying to defend any of that uh yeah i mean there's a whole lot of, of bullshit with it but like okay if if this question is about like why do i have to study all this other stuff in addition to what you know i want to get my degree in that's why it's because like a I liberal don't know. I arts think the, education the is, is, simple, is, but... was orig- is intend- originally intended to be more than just a a, a, spe- a job specific like training program. I think the answer is pretty simple. It's uh, money. They want you to spend money. That's what it comes my down to. My answer is my answer is better. My answer is more so cynical. Better. Yeah, it's shorter. And but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to see. Uh, don't don't cast me. Don't cast me as the as the as the as the fucking private college apologia guy. That's not where I want to be. <laughs> don't make me defend these monsters. But that's like where the idea comes from. 
Yeah, but maybe yeah. that idea yeah. was manufactured by them just to make you spend more money. No, it's it's older. It's older than that. It's an older idea than that. It it comes from like it comes from like old ideas of like what a classical education should be, and the, you know, you know, like the kind that like fucking like aristocrats would get. Not because they need a job, because they don't need a job, because they'll just fucking live off their family holdings or whatever. Just based on like I don't know, Hellenistic ideas of like truth and beauty and shit. <laughs> You know, but doesn't that but still it, like, come to the whole uh, rich versus poor thing? I mean, that is a a thing. Maybe it's, it's just an invention of the rich from the very beginning. <sighs> huh? That's, what? That sucks. My answer that is: sucks. Who cares? I fuck you. Fuck <laughs> I both wasn't of listening. you. I was playing powder game. It's so much more interesting. I'll fucking than the kill PCP. you. I'll fucking kill you, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I've 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 planted seeds. Oh no, they're burning. I I didn't planted realize. Planted seeds. What is there. this? Uh, Animal Crossing. I'm, fuck fuck powder game. I'm gonna go play the better version of powder game. It's called Noita because it has like machine gun wands and spells and and bombs and shit and laser beams. Um, machine gun wands. That. Then I have to play it for yeah. sure. It goes, yeah, it goes, goes beep, 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 beep. Um, I'm right, gonna play fuck. the better version of that, which is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> no, please. Well, we all we all no. know that Phoenix is always right. Die! All right, I, I fucking hate. I fucking <laughs> hate. I fucking hate the Procrastinators podcast. patreoncom slash the Procrastinators. Procrastinators um, podcast. We we should get. Uh, I'm gonna complain. I'm gonna complain in the general chat about who should be making these fucking MP3s. That's Eliazar's job, right? Is it? I don't know if it is. It might not be. Um, but I'm gonna tell Eliazar that he better fucking do that, or I'll kill him. Uh, and then we will get uh, we'll get fucking MP3s for your bonus episodes. So you don't have to watch them on YouTube. Uh, uh, and hopefully we yeah, can I get think, that um, ad free experience. I going. think I'm on the latest bonus episode, right? Yes, at least until oh my, oh my god! I've I've made like a stable vortex. I don't even know that's what's pretty, going on. That's actually pretty awesome. This looks like um, the scene of a murder crime mystery. A murder you, crime, you, <laughs> as opposed to a different kind. type of murder. You are on the latest bonus episode, at least until Eliazar gets that uh, that uh, bonus uh, Wait, content, that cut content sense. episode done. <laughs> I thought it didn't make sense, but murder crime does make sense as a thing to say. This looks very Damn RFCK. It. This looks very RFCK yeah. core. What is all that green it look, shit? It's it's like I put seeds and then ants, and the ants built from the seeds, and they built in all directions. And then something caught fire, and now there's a vortex swirling. Of the the vines are constantly growing, and the fire is constantly putting them out and flying. So the up. green. So the green is vines, the red the, is ants? The red is magma or something, or fire. Okay. I thought the, the green was slimes. I mean, no. I wanted it to be, but I guess it's seeds? Well, I put seeds and vines and then ants, and I guess the vines constantly grow, so <sighs> they, they, nobody, this is like a stalemate. Entropy will win out in the end. <laughs> no one, no one can win in this in the it's battle a, it's a in the battle of war. What is the There's war between like mag built. magma, magma and seeds? It's a complete <laughs> <laughs> the two most powerful forces. Yeah, if you play Pokemon, then uh, that's the case, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, it's so okay. mesmerizing. Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Send us a voicemail at speakpipe.com slash PCP voicemail. Uh, go check out Gamers Tavern. Uh, check out his new, uh, check out Chrono's new, uh, 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 the Metal Gear, no, Mega Man for Mega Man Zero for video. Um, thanks for, thanks for listening. Uh, anything else before we fucking die? No. Okay, good night. Thank you. Love you. Goodbye. Bye.